Welcome to Friday. Welcome to the weekend and welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. Hello. Your best source for the newest Atari 7800 and 2600 games or the other order around, other way around too. Yeah. Um, but tonight we're going to be playing 2600 games. Yes. And a whole bunch of them. And yeah. they're all from the same person. Yeah, which is awesome. And he just revealed them all at once. Yeah. Like, um, just under a week ago, a couple days ago. That's and awesome. We played one of them last time, which was Trench, Trench. which was the 3D yes. perspective yes. one. Yes, which was very hard to play. Although when you turn yes. the, the joystick sideways, it's <laughs> it makes not a bit so more bad. sense. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. That was very, very innovative. And we're going to play the rest of his games that he's made on the 2600. Mm. Um, and they're all quite different, um, which is nice because you wouldn't want to play a whole bunch of games that are the same. It's like five variations of shooters or something. Yeah. Yeah. So they're all quite different. Um, we're going to be playing Blipskitball. Nice. Uh, retro Racing, Digits, I, The Binary Game. The and Binary the, Game. And the Binary <laughs> Game. One, zero, yeah. one, yeah. done, you're yeah. done. <laughs> It's not much to know. There's Have only one. Have you ones hit and number wang? <laughs> yes, number wang. That's yeah, number wang. That's number wang. And we're gonna try our hand at getting um, the patch mm. in Grand Prix. Mm. Oh boy, I took a look at Grand Prix. It's like um, barnstorming. Okay. Except three times as fast. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Luckily, it's done in. 35 seconds okay. or less. So it's quick. That's what you need to get. 35 little. seconds. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, so the first five games were made by Brooke Anderson. Nice. And I interviewed him via text about his games. Nice. So we'll be reading out the interview as we go through it. Okay. So I want to thank all the uh, people tuning in on all the Twitch subscribers. Twitch subscribers are beside Tanya. Alnifer, Armscar Coder, Cafe Man 2D, Captain Classic, Catalogs, Charles and Check, Coconut 81, Dianoid, Danny VC, Drexel, Glenn Main, Great Offender, Ground Trooper, OJ Rapper 2600, Johnny WC 23, One, Urado, Carl G, Croco 2600, Mark Space Inc, MCP90, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strom, Pacra, VG Coog 2600, RC70, Repentless, VG, Ricardo Pim, Six Sweets, Smitty B7800, Socrates 0603, Spiceware, SMRs 2008, The D Train 37, Welsh Man in a 9, Thunkus, Tiki Dan, K, Tifos, and Trek M D. <gasps> yeah. Um, and <laughs> you can support the show too and subscribe for free if you link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime and click subscribe. So if you don't see your name and you were on there, yeah, then you need to click subscribe again so you can get back on there. And I'm gonna. I'm gonna <laughs> well, that's very much like um, the child of Elon Musk's name. Oh, yes, yeah. That's uh, A to the uh, power of open bracket ampersand percent upper, uh, to nice. the power of ampersand dollar sign. Nice. That's too long. Yeah. I would just uh, abbreviate it <laughs> somehow. Um, Makes a great um, um, hard to crack password. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Sort of, but, sort but of. since needs the another, whole world knows, you know. Needs another, <laughs> oh, the name. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't use his Yeah. Cubert sound. Yeah, that's, that's how it goes. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> um, and make sure you follow and click subscribe and like on all the things. Mm. So you know when special shows are coming up, and a whole bunch of special shows are coming up, tons and tons and tons. Mm -hmm. um, and I want to thank all the people tuning in live on Twitch because we uh, play these games live. Mm -hmm. It's not pre-recorded. <laughs> it's a real-time playing. Yes. Um, uh, Andrew Davey, uh, who's here for a short while, he says. Hi. <laughs> uh, Leo C. Leo? Santi, Captain Classic, Al Nefer, Miss Command, D-Train 37. Uh, Mick Muse, looking forward to your game coming out and playing it again. Uh, Dan AVC, uh, Ground Trooper, Splendid Nut, Al Nefer, Flackets. Uh, anybody else? Packrat VG. VG, yeah. And that's everybody's chatted Excellent. so far, checked in so far. Good, good. Um, so speaking of special shows, um, because there's a whole bunch of special shows I need to do a lot of research for and a lot of organizing, we're going to be cutting back to just Fridays till the end of the year. Mm. Um, so just With a few Fridays. little extra ones in there, Well, right? yeah, that's yeah. the point. Yeah. Is that there will be more shows. Yeah. 
besides just the Fridays. And that's why I have to cut back because I need to plan for these extra shows. <laughs> uh, it's yeah. confusing. It'll all make sense. Yeah. Really... It'll all be, I assume, in your Atari Age post with, with your, yeah. the dates that are coming It'll up. be all in the Atari Age forum. It'll be on all the social media. Yeah. So if you follow any of the things, you'll, see. Uh, you'll definitely see it. Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. Um, amongst other places mm. as well. Um, because, you know, John Champeau's uh, special um, interviews coming up. I mean, that is on a Friday. But, yes. but there's things that are not going to be on Fridays. Mm. Ooh, the Retron 77. We're not playing the Retron 77 <laughs> tonight. We did last time. It's backup, time. though. It is backup it if is. something goes wrong. Which yeah, is good. if a game is not cooperating or something's going crazy with it. Stick it in there sometimes. Or if it's a PAL game, too. That's true, yeah. I can either play it on that or an emulator. Mm. Um, but why not play it on that? Mm -hmm. I don't know. They're both emulators. They're both running the exact same version of Stella. Mm. But I can plug in uh, DB9 joysticks into it. Which is nice, yeah. Which is nice. Then yeah. I don't have to put this huge thing on your lap and <laughs> have you complain mm. again. It's um, like a brick. It's like a concrete block in there. It is. <laughs> um, also, I'll be working on an Atari 2600 demo intro for the show mm. that I was able to kind of figure out in my head. It's like, oh, oh, that'll be kind of a cool intro, mm -hmm. you know. So I'll, I'll be, I won't be playing it off the 2600 each time. I'll have it as a video, mm. but it will be a demo. Obviously, I'll show it. Nice. It'll take a while, but um, I think it might be easier to make a demo because there's no interaction with any like a joystick or anything it just plays through mm. and so i don't have to do that extra part and then mm. i can move on to making a game mm. so i've always wanted to make an intro demo for the show nice yeah so why not learn as i make something nice james should be on the day at dev beta test group for updates alnifer for uh yeah 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 for the plus card i'm uh uh, guessing yeah I heard somebody was complaining about they put a uh, an update on the mm. plus cart but it was a never-ending update and somebody was saying I keep updating and it just never stops updating oh. <laughs> and they said yeah that's the point <laughs> we're oh. testing updating <laughs> oh and they I thought see. something was wrong oh, I see. that was very very funny yeah yeah, mm, yeah I would love um, what well, yeah sure throw me on the beta test group because um, I do want to do maybe a show where we play all the uh, high score games. Mm. Maybe not a regular show, an off show. Yeah, we sure. just run through them all and yeah. just play them for fun. Yeah, yeah. Do you play them at least once? Yeah. Yeah, uh, and and get a whole bunch of. It wasn't yeah, continuous update. The menu option was always there. That's all. Uh, okay. Uh. So you could just ch you could choose to do an update oh, okay. and it wouldn't disappear I think. it would just always look like there was one to do kind not of like a looping no no like no a, like yeah a boot loop or something yeah. which <laughs> or, had... or like every time you turn it on it's like windows update again you're like really really again <laughs> another update like didn't didn't i just do this yesterday <laughs> yeah anyway yeah. um so i read somebody was posting about making four player games mm -hmm. in the forums and they linked to the quadtari Mm. And they said, oh, there was an update. Um, actually, they they called it the quadra stick. And I'm like, what is a quadra stick? Oh. And then I he then he talked about Nathan Tolbert's quadra stick. And I went to Nathan Tolbert's site. Yeah. And he's renamed it from the Quadtari oh, to quadra stick. Na just a name change, though. It's just the same hardware. Change. Yeah. yeah. Um, and he's posted a picture of it as well. Um, so let's take a look at it. I mean, it's not that exciting. It's a box, but <laughs> uh, but it is an update. And uh, so things are happening with that. I don't know if there's an, a, um, a timed update, like when it's going to be available yet. Um, he says Atari doesn't look comfortable. No, he does, does look comfortable. Oh, he, does. he is. Yeah, He's he a happy cat. is a happy, comfortable, warm I'm always surprised he doesn't yes. run away because he usually does. He does at some point. We get a little too rambunctious and he's like, okay, enough of this. But uh, he's pretty happy right now. So there's uh, Nathan Tolbert's website, Bite the Chili Productions. Mm -hmm. No idea what that means. <laughs> um, but, Just a uh, fan of hot food. Yeah. Uh -huh. On his subsection called Quad Games, where mm. we're going to be playing some of these games when the um, Quadristic, I'll have to get in my 
that in my brain now. Quadristic. Quadristic Quatari rolled right off the tongue. Quatari. So. But he's probably wanting to avoid the Tari. The Tari part, yeah. Even that's, though it's not a Tari, it's yeah. still Tari. Yeah, yeah. No, that's um, fair. So there is the uh, new picture mm. of it. Um, this may just be a beta yeah. version of it. Yeah. So you can see the four plugs that go in there, four inputs, nice. go out to two outputs. Outputs, yeah. Port one, port two. Mm. Yeah, so there's there's a picture of it. It's probably going to have a sticker <laughs> saying uh, quadra stick on it rather than just a plain box. But oh, then, yeah. It yeah. looks solid, though. Looks yes, good. it does look very, very solid because yeah. the ones I, the beta versions that oh, I got was like, were um, 3D printed. 3D printed, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're they're quite small. Yeah. That one looks a little bit bigger. Yeah, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. Like, no, because the other ones... It, may, would, it lets it sit solidly on a surface and like that's kind of nice. Yeah. <laughs> because if it's too light, yeah. <laughs> um, it just slides off. Yeah. Just true. just like, um, like retro pie cases. Mm. Like you pick up the controller mm -hmm. and the whole retro pie falls mm -hmm. off the table because it's so light. So that yes. one looks like it's metal and it's a little bit sturdier. On that note, I really want to, uh, the retro pie, but, but the, the new um, oh, Raspberry oh Pi keyboard ones are so cute. Raspberry Pi 400. 400. 400, not 4, 400. It's an extension of 4. Okay. It's, it's a wider board. Yeah. That and it's right really in cute. the uh, keyboard. So Which it's is like great. A, so it's like the old school computers where the keyboard was yeah. the computer. It looks awesome. I, I'm so tempted to buy it, even though I would almost never touch it. Well. Um, it's more for people who are using it as an emulator for um, well, or, computing. Or just using it for computing. I mean, yeah, in the, 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 the little Raspberry Pis, I'm sorry we got off topic, <laughs> are great for controlling things because they're so small and you can stick them in mirrors and different things like yeah. that. But like, it seems to me that's more designed as a really cheap computer. Like yes. kids can compute $100 on US. $100. That includes the case. Yeah. yeah. You just need some a screen to plug in. And a big it. manual too. It's like a Ready to go. It just know. plugs into the TV and you've got everything you need. Yeah. So I just, I kind of, it's one of those things you just kind of want to buy to play play with. I will have to put a sticker over the box that says Quadtari Compatible. <laughs> That's a good point because all the boxes <laughs> yeah. say Quadtari on them. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. oh, no. Or he'll have to put stickers over the new boxes mm. <laughs> or reprint new boxes. Mm. Yeah. One way or the other. Mm. I'm sure people will figure it out. The Usually quad. a sticker is the easiest way to go. But yeah. Yes. yeah, that's funny. Um, yeah, sticker over the boxes. Oh, I thought you might put a sticker mm. over the quad. Uh, see, I've forgotten it already. What's it called? Quadristic. Quadristic. So put on, put, you could put it on the quadristic just once. Yeah. Rather than all those boxes. Yeah, yeah. Quadtari compatible. Yeah. But they're trying to avoid that. I think it's only Wizard of War Arcade. Is it? Uh, yes, that's true. I wonder what... Wonder where he's along with the boxes for the new games. Ooh, might be dicey. <laughs> might have to order a bunch of those stickers on a, a roll. Snitch. Yeah, it's okay. I'm sure he doesn't have that much to uh, to oh. do to prepare for the holidays. Oh, that's an exciting screen to see. There you go. Well, they got to see all the ch <laughs> their chat in tiny. Are we meant to be looking at the chat on the main screen? <laughs> this is yeah. what we stare at. So yeah, that's what we look at. Yeah. So it's kind of funny. <laughs> So whoever's the bravest can tell Al <laughs> that he needs to print little stickers <laughs> for hundreds of boxes. There you go. I will not be doing it, so I leave it to you guys <laughs> to go tell Al Yaruso mm. about this new thing he needs to do. Mm. Um, uh, cave Rescue. Um, we were going to play today. Mm. Um, the final uh, exclusive release version of it. Um, but the programmer said it's not quite done. Okay. He's, so we he's had not to quite postpone. satisfied with it yet. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, it's being released through ERA Games Homebrew, and they're like, eh, maybe not just yet. Mm. Give it give it a couple weeks or a month or something. So you'll see that in an upcoming show. Mm. Um, yeah, they're going to push it back a little bit. But uh, they said it's coming Christmas 2020. I don't know if that's being postponed. Or they want maybe it to be shown on the show closer to the release date maybe. as well. Cool. And they need to fix a couple of things. Because a lot of these uh, cartridges you can just reprogram instantly. So you can pr 
make them. That's what that's what L does. Oh, They're just blank. yes, yeah. They're just blank. You stick it in. It goes bloop. Yeah. You flash it. Yeah. You put the sticker what game it is. Yeah. And you put it in the box. That's cool. So you don't need to build up a huge inventory of the cartridges. You it's just you just so on demand. Yeah. 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 I mean you the boxes on can't on be on demand. Yeah. So, mm. Yeah, that's true. Uh, always entertain. It will it will come out when the Atari VCS yeah. comes out. Which what are you talking? About? Behind the scenes. Uh, those very versions of the boxes are just more collectible now. Like Revenge of the Jedi poster, yes. Mm -hmm. Maybe Galagon for high scores plus two player. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. So, uh, yeah, Galagon and Wizard of War both have it on there. The Atari VCS is coming out any day. Mm, sure it is. <laughs> any day now. Somebody did demo it. Oh, really? Yeah, and played a game on an Atari VCS. I saw that video, mm. so I'm like... Oh my god, it's actually real? But, so we'll see if it comes out on mass. I don't see any point in buying it. <laughs> it's a computer. Yeah. It's a tiny computer. It's, and it just plays simple games on Linux. Mm. And, yeah. It's not for me. Maybe it's for somebody who doesn't have a computer. I don't know. Um, an update. Um, some of you may know about the game Ricky and Vicky for the 7800. Mm -hmm. It's a platform puzzler yeah. game. Um, they're all sold out now, as of oh, today. Oh, wow. Today. Good for them. Yeah. Um, they first went on sale February 18th, 2019. Okay. Um, and the last copy of 551 copies oh. sold today. Good. And luckily I ordered mine a couple days ago. Oh, good. <laughs> so I knew the end was coming. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, it, like I was talking about it before on previous shows. I'm like, oh, it's so expensive. Yeah. But it's like you either buy it now. Or you don't buy it and pay more. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, oh, the main thread was frozen on Atari Age. I guess people mm. have discussed it to death. It's like, yeah, mm -hmm. enough people have talked about the Atari mm. uh, VCS. Um, so, anyways, uh, you'll be seeing us playing uh, this platformer in an upcoming show. Probably not till I do the RGB mod on the 7800. Mm. Um, because it's only on cartridge. There's no ROM mm. to play. I don't even think there's a demo. It's just. Here it is. Yeah, the Pi 400 does sound nice. Um, yeah, I'd buy that 100 years before an Atari VCS. <laughs> it's actually really, really useful. It's really, yeah, yeah. You can emulate everything well, on it. You can it's, travel with it because, um, yes. uh, you know, we'll, we'd, we'll go visit. I have, I have family out in um, in eastern Ontario and uh, we'll bring, we'll bring like little raspberry pies and little little yep. the, you loaded know, up with games loaded up with games and play with my nephew and, and you my, just bring a controller or two and play old games with them you know and and yep. and the one time we went we we brought we brought did we bring a pie or something i can't remember now a, re a retro pie yeah I, we might have once but then they bought oh no something we, else yeah and and we were playing old castlevania games yeah, and stuff and, and, and my nephew loved just, them. just loving it loved them he's doing so really much. well on a lot of games he, yeah. he what did he pick castlevania th two two yeah which is more of the adventure style where you could just yeah. run around and all he the just place. kept dying and dying <laughs> he didn't mind at all and he loved it and he <laughs> loved the monsters yeah. and and you would think he would get frustrated but he just, he did not care. He did nope. not care, and he just wanted to keep fighting the flaming eyeballs, which I just <laughs> thought was just so lovely. It was. So, um, but yeah, no, it's fun to, for, for a little, it's such a little thing, you can bring it with you. Yeah, and yeah it's super people. convenient. Yeah, really nice. Um, so it's Tail yeah. Chow, uh, one of the developers of Rick and Vicky, said, mm. the Atari 7800 version is now sold out. Some lucky buyer managed to squeeze their order between the inventory running out and disabling a button. Mm. Uh, so they'll be receiving an unclaimed press copy for a total of 551 units. Regarding what happens next, I'll be taking a break from the board and scene for a while. There may be an additional run produced in the future, but I'm not making any promises on what or will or will not happen. The Windows version will be continued to be maintained. I'm not smart enough to ma manage pre-orders, so this sort of thing will not happen. <laughs> Thanks again, everyone who gave the game a try, because they were down to like... 30 copies like it was oh. slowly going down but once they got to 30 copies which was about a week ago oh yeah people were like oh, oh crap <laughs> i have to buy it buy now, now or never and yeah. i was one of those people yeah yeah it it yeah. does work and yeah they, were, oh, it they does. were counting down the copies on wow. on the thread yeah yeah 
always bring a rasp pie and pumpkin pie to every Thanksgiving yes, dinner. Yes, yes. Very smart. That's a good combo. Yeah. <laughs> um, so let's get on with the games. The first one is Blip Skip Ball. Blip Skip Ball. Okay. Blip Skit. Like basket. Basket, but blip skit Blip skit ball. Nice. By Brooke Anderson. Uh, he posted this November 1st. It's an 8K game. Um, so the games he has made, binary game, blip skit ball, digits, I, retro racing, trench, which we played. Uh, and he's made um, some NES games, Chelonian, Crunch. Uh, he made digits for, uh, um, for the NES as well. Mm. We'll be playing digits. He made I for the ColecoVision. Mm. So two of these are uh, ports. From, oh, okay. From other things, nice. from other uh, systems. And LED uh, Salt for the NES. Mm -hmm. And these are all available in the Facebook group uh, Atari 2600 Homebrew Games. Mm, okay. Um, and uh, we'll get into later why he's not part of the Atari Age Forum. Okay. Which is really interesting. Mm. Um, so he says, another fix on one of my older games, Blipskit Ball, was a small issue on scoring slash ball turnovers. No quarters or anything, just score as many baskets in the couple minutes allowed. Mm. Um, so this is kind of like those handheld, really old handheld games in the 70s, mm. where they're made of uh, LEDs, those red. Mm. Um, I don't even know if they are LEDs. VFDs, maybe? LEDs, um, I know where they're all red and they're just dots. Yeah, and they just move around bleep, and bleep, and there was bleep, like bleep. Um, <laughs> yeah. baseball and football, football yeah. and basketball, like all a whole bunch of sports. Mm. So this one is the basketball one. Um, so they were made by Mattel, and let's just take a quick look at uh, that for people who are unaware of what those are, which I'm sure 99% of the people watching this are very aware of what those were because you're all in the same age range. I get demographics <laughs> through YouTube and it's like there. That. There is no... There's no bell curve there? There is no bell curve. It is one straight column. It's bizarre. It's crazy. Sorry, on YouTube? Uh, YouTube, yeah. Really? Yeah. That's funny. So here is... Um, not much of a page. Mattel's ba uh, basketball, uh, 1978 LED, uh, nine volt, uh, blah, blah, blah. Um, basketball was released in two different box styles. The older original box was blah, who cares about boxes? Mm. Um, so here it is. Um, you can move and it looks like there's two buttons for shooting, probably left and right handed. Mm. That makes sense because you just shoot. And you can see on the right hand side here, is um, the dots, positions, yeah. all the positions of nice. the players, and your score right down there. Can you see my mouse? Oh, it's so tiny. Your mouse? Oh. Yeah. It's funny because it's a widescreen television, right? Yeah. And it just So I want to show all of it. Yeah. So that means it's like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know how to solve that because if I make it bigger, it'll just intrude on the That's stuff true. on the left. Yeah, yeah. Um, the large box design. Do I have this? Yes. Box, large and small. This is like somebody's personal page. Yeah. Um, let's go back to the Mattel page and you can see some of the other ones. Um, let's just quickly look at baseball. So very similar form factor. It has mm -hmm. all the bases, has all the different um, positions. Outfield, outfield and all that. Yeah. Uh, pitcher. Yeah. And I'm sure there's like dot, 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 and then you have to hit it oh, as it comes towards it comes you. comes towards you. Yeah. yeah. Um, but the one we'll be playing today is the basketball one. Mm. And uh, I think it did a really good job at converting this oh, over. Oh, cool. So let's... Miss Command had the auto racing one as a kid. Oh, really? Nice. Um, I swear one of my friends had the baseball one. Atari Fox Plus. Ready. Hi. You're going to stick your leg out so I sit on you? Let's not do that. Okay. So let's switch over to a blip skip ball. There you go. And it's sixth today. If you want to uh, do that, I'm just going to make sure everything's good here. Oh, yeah. Time. Oh, no, the time's going down. <laughs> yeah, it kind of starts. It starts immediately. immediately. <laughs> That's okay. I won't, uh, I don't know what I'm doing, so. Um, okay. 
Um, and we played blip football on one show. Yes, we that? did. And uh, it yeah. was really fun. It was really fun. <laughs> it's shocking how a, a few, like a Just dots. Little, two lines of LEDs can be so exciting. So, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and that was a conversion of the football handheld one. Mm. Um, his comments on the Facebook post for when he posted this. Um, I usually made a game for myself and an extra... Oh, no, that's that's kind of irrelevant to this. Um, okay. In this case, it had a bug where if a ball was intercepted, it could blow a whistle twice and then go back to the team it was on. Another thing that happened from time to time was an inception, interception and then the ball kept going, scoring for the other team, just looking through the code, trying to fix stuff a bit yesterday probably only a couple bites left in the second bank mm. no three-point shots but you can shoot straight diagonal or from the sides to score if you're not blocked so i'm going to turn it up a little bit because it's there we go I don't know what I'm doing. a little quiet on both ends here okay i'm going to restart it okay okay you're the yellow yeah and you have to move towards the basket. They're kind of blocking you. Oh, you can get around to the left. Up, up, oh. No, we ran out of time. Okay. Oh, did I? Okay, go again, and the I'm team red. switch. Uh, theoretically, no, you have to, he was blocking you there. I don't understand. I have to get, like, You have to get as close I'm to blocked. the basket. Yeah, you're stuck. Now, now you can get there. There you go. You press the button. Oh, you got okay. it. You have to get to the basket. You have to then. get to the basket or have a clear shot. No. Oh, that's not a, a clear shot. Way. Yeah, there's a guy. Oh, no. Way. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So I can't shoot from here. N no. He will block you. 100%. You no? Have... No. You can't he... do it from the side. I can only do it from the front? No, no. There was a guy there right in front of the basket. Oh, See, in there's front. A See, there's a red dot. Oh. Yeah, you can't shoot from there. You can't shoot over his head? No. So that's not really basketball then. There. Get in there. Gotcha. It's okay. Because there's a timer and you're trying to get as many in before the timer runs out. <sighs> Theoretically, we should switch back and forth. Oh, I see. Okay. He didn't put... He really needs to put a button so you start because the timer counts down. But if we go back and forth and just um, do it as quickly as possible, then we both are at a disadvantage, an equal disadvantage. Um, Oris, 1968, said, I had football and hockey. Um, we'll start again <laughs> in a second. Uh, Captain Classic, I was interested in lake projection driving as once as a kid, I was able to turn it over, turn it over and find out how it knew if you're crashed going off road. Oh, the light projection driving. Is that the one with the mechanical car going back and forth? It is a small piece of plastic that stuck out from the roller with the scenery. Ah, and a small plastic for the projection red cars. When the real wheel was rotated, it would hit the raised plastic. I always wondered how that worked. Yep, it was mechanical mostly. I think even the score was mechanical, wasn't it? It like clicked over. Okay, so you want to restart now? <laughs> what was that face? <laughs> sure. Okay, <laughs> you ready? Can play. So we'll switch after every mm. every uh, countdown. So really, you're trying to give as much opportunity for the other people to move out of the way mm. while you being. Come on. Okay. It's a shame there's not like a delay. So Tanya's red. I know. He, if he, if he updated it with a button press so that you could start, that would be really good. Because oh, my friend definitely had that racing game, where it was a little steering wheel and you, the the cars were projected. My turn. Get out of the way! <laughs> it plays really well, though. It plays yeah, just like one of those games. Uh, like it's amazing. Come on, move! It, it, it's still, it's still the ingenuity of creating these games. <laughs> like trying to fit a complex game into a t 
tiny into like 12 lights 12 lights <laughs> you know it just it's great it, go, go around oh you can't go yeah you can go around oh Ugh, terrible he says you can do diagonals what no like there i don't oh, know now. not that i can <laughs> not that i can i'm gonna tell. try yep Oh, you can shoot diagonally. Yeah, as long as nobody's in the way. Yeah, but you can't move diagonally. No, 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 not move. Shoot. But that guy's blocking, mm. so I can't. Mm. That makes sense. So as long as there's not somebody under the basket. Yeah, you're okay. And you're within one, then you can keep going. Captain Class said, had some sort of audio chip for playing car acceleration sounds and crashing. Okay. But the mecha mechanisms were mostly mechanical. That's redundant. Uh, also remember some electromechanical video games like Ghost Shooting, one with the enclosed BB gun. Yeah, it was quite a mix of mechanical. Yeah. I always forget that I Mechanical that. and el mm. electronic. I think it just goes forever. I think it does. <laughs> Oh, I shot from like two away. Mm. Oh no, it was still one. As long as it's clear. Yeah. Probably okay. Mm. Yeah, this needs uh, mm. an ending. <laughs> I don't know if it ever ends. Maybe. Well, I mean, he's just emulating the game, right? Like it's. Yeah, but I'm sure the game ends, right? Give him room. Uh. <laughs> and it is very random. Like, oh. oh, that was brutal. So I've got 22. Oh, I can't shoot that far. Oh. Hmm? If you miss a basket, it's the other person's turn. Is it really? Yeah. I shot badly. I was trying something. That's okay. Like from there, it's oh. too far. Uh, the Melton Bradley Microvision was the first handheld with cartridges, about seven years prior to the Game Boy release. Yeah. Oh, just keep going. Do you <laughs> Andrew Davies thing there? Uh, my very, very first exposure to a video game was a duck shoot game, which you used a rifle to shoot at mechanical ducks, <laughs> and it gave you a printed card with red splotches showing you where your wow. shots landed. Printed card? Wow. Very early 70s. Technically, it wasn't a video game, but it was very Left much a lead-in. Left one thing. Yeah, to the interest in his interest in it. Wow. Are we Wish done? We Are we, we just... Well, we could go to a point. To points. Oh, Let's go to 21? I think I'm past that. 30. Hmm. Oh, is it oh. over? Oh, no, it's done. Oh, it is over. Okay. Did I win? No, home. No. 18, away, 24. To 24. Was it a time then? You were away, so... Was it timed? It must have been timed. You, you yeah, that would make sense. You, you didn't get a full no. round. No. So it was it was timed. Ah, that okay. makes sense. So there is an end state. It's Very just good. By time. Yeah. Yep. It's great. It's great. It looks just like the game. <laughs> I, I wonder if both joysticks work. Because, mm. I mean, that would be better. Mm -mm. Rather than handing back and forth. Mm. Um, that would be the best implementation. Handing back and forth is fine. It's... Yeah. A it's 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 um original to the game because that's what you had here you <laughs> that's go. maybe your that's turn. what he's going for yeah it's your turn <laughs> yeah very true yeah okay where you, where you have to rip the game from your friend's <laughs> like hands mine. so you don't lose time in the that's, process that's so. part of the fun that is part of the fun um so we're gonna move on to actually let's see um retro racing which is uh not a two-player game so i can start and on the interview portion mm -hmm. of the show. What was it, sorry? Retro racing. Oh, the sigh from this fluffy cat. Oh, I know. Just exhaled and went, oh. Um, so this is a 4K game. He posted November 5th, all in uh, Atari 2600 homebrew games. Mm. Um, so it's forward and steering, I believe. Yeah. And you just get as many laps as you can in the amount of time before it stops. 
it's it if anybody remembers this game in the arcade i worked at a comic book store mm. in the early 90s that had this video game in it yeah. and what was it called the one i uh one they had there had just one ah, steering what, wheel what is going on here it changes courses ah what happened oh, oh don't press a button that resets the game yeah but now it's oh there we go it's just forward and left and right oh That's you should have told me that i did i said forward left or right yeah but you didn't say don't press the button that resets the game not that that that's a terrible thing but uh stream is bad ah it is bad why what happened i don't know my isp hates me oh no uh what's happening Shaw. am i supposed to say their name bad isp <laughs> oh one second i'm gonna type to them Did it just freeze completely? Ah, uh, sorry, ISP issues all of a sudden. What the hell? Uh, I think we might be back. No. It's... Uh, okay, I'm gonna crank down the settings so that it actually will work. I hate this. So it's going to be terrible for a bit. Okay. Oh, it's really bad. It's like not even doing anything. Zero. It's red? Yeah. So I'm changing some settings. start the stream. Is it our For you watching on YouTube, this won't affect you at all. So. Not good. Not good. <laughs> uh, it's not stopping the stream. The stream's still going? Yeah. It's like stopping stream. Why does it do this? It randomly turns to garbage. It's weird. It's like fine and then poof. Yeah. Oh, now it's stuck. Okay. So it's at 500. So it's half, half, half a megabit per second now. Okay. Um, it, it might be the server we're connected to all of a sudden went terrible. Let's try and do a speed test. See if it's... Can people hear us? Is this actually streaming out still? It's doing nothing. Like zero. Wow. Um, downloads are normal. Uh... Loads are kind of crap. Okay. Kind of crap? Kind of crap. We're, we've started streaming again. It's going to be not as nice looking um, for oh. Twitch watchers. <laughs> for YouTube watchers, nothing, was hot. nothing yeah. will change. Um, yeah, it's going into the red and yellow and being generally <sighs> terrible, but we're back again. Hopefully. Uh... Not good. Uh, back should be a little less, less cutty out. Okay, yeah. let's go back to the game. Someone needs to post something in the chat so we know you're still there, too. Yeah. Because I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's happening to this game. Press one. Restart. Press forward. Left, right. That's no, all but there the is. forward wasn't working, so. Oh, ran out of time. Yeah, I guess so. Yep. Um... Retro Racing was another one I held back putting up. Minor issue. Quite playable. 
Just when the car crosses a certain point on the screen, it dips down one pixel, and the bottom of the car might get clicked off. I tried moving things around in the code, then the play field. Yeah, it's still not great, the stream. I don't know what uh, what I can do about that. Not much. Not much. Um, oh, I keep hitting reset. Because I think it's my, my connection and not Twitch, because so fast. Well, don't press forward as much. Press back to slow down. You can take it nice and slow. I like slow. You won't get as many points, but you won't be crashing. So, yeah, you know. I don't like crashing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> just got this. La descargo de este video se ha cancelado. Intelado de nuevo. <laughs> Error 1000. How do you like my Spanish? Your stream is bad, <laughs> big choppy. Also, Twitch is offering only is only offered 1080. I know you have no control. No, I don't. What is going on? You get stuck. Oh yeah, oh, we're there. losing. Come on, come on. Hold forward. This is what happened last time. There we go. Yeah, we're losing at 67 percent of the packets. Anything above like 10 percent is terrible. Oh no. I really hate it. And there's... Why? Why does this happen always when you're streaming? Well, it's because when I'm not streaming, I don't notice that it's bad. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Okay, well, here's the game back again. So it's it's none of you out there in Twitch land. Don't worry about it. Um, so you can keep watching now, or watch it later on YouTube where it's perfect. <laughs> uh, and but just watch us staring at screens and going, what the heck is Switching going on? Switching to audio only doesn't help, so it's a zero-page homebrew ISP issue. Yes. Yeah, it, it is, is, definitely. Uh, uh, Canadian ISPs. Um, <laughs> mm. uh, anyway, it's my attempt at doing a Sprint 1 type game and couldn't get asymmetrical tracks to work at the same time as the car moving around. Three tracks. When you get to the first track again, just floor it for points as the tracks don't change anymore. That's weird. Uh, Kevin Moon time? said, I really love the look of this. Does it use driving controllers? I guess so. Score, 210. Oh, yep. yeah, You're it done. just kind of stops. <laughs> uh, does it use driving controllers? Says, nope, all of my jam games use joysticks so far. I've seen paddle assembly demos, but I haven't seen a driving controller one. Oh, well, you should be able to see us now. No. Well, when you get enough bits to get a full frame of video. Oh, that's so terrible. Um, so we're going to switch over to the um, interview for a little bit here. So I asked him, what's, what's his background in programming? What other systems have you made games for? I got into uh, the console stuff about a year and a half ago. Started with Atari 2600. About a year and a half ago, I started doing uh, NES games in assembly language. Did three for that one. Chelonian took most go. of the work. You get stuck on the walls. You just have to keep no, motoring until you get out. No, well, like, you just don't move at all. Like, it's weird. Like, I can't move right now. Keep holding forward. There we go. No, it's just weird. It, it It's like... Well, because it's You're crash, holding it for, like, five minutes. It's crashing over and over again, I think. That's yeah. the thing. And if you can turn it to get out of it, I think that's... Yeah, but that doesn't seem to do anything, actually. Time to fire ATT, Compass, Time Warner, whatever Canada offers. Yeah. None of those. Yeah. None of those are Canadian. We have monopolies here. Yes. Like, Terrible. literally, most of the time, you can't choose. Well, you can. No, between, you can. You have, like, it, three services, and then they, yeah. they, they act like they're a low-cost um, <laughs> versions of, of either mobile or internet services but that actually they don't exist come on. come on just hold forward hold it you're pressing 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 no hold i it. am holding it no you're going click 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 no i'm not moving it back <laughs> you keep saying that oh you're moving it forward no i'm not holding it <laughs> i can hear it i can hear it like this yes like that there you go you're right you're That's right ridiculous. in there it is ridiculous um oh it's dead now no there's no noise I haven't gotten past the face. The face? Yeah, the face. Oh, because it runs out of time. I guess so. Where I hit the wall too many times. Ah, going too fast. Ah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Somebody put uh, CA and a snail. <laughs> what, CA? My connection I'm paying for yes. is very fast. It's supposed to be. Like, way, way, way faster than what I ever broadcast at. What it's supposed to be. And it is most of the time. And it's especially fast after I contact them. Oh, yes. The moment you get in a chat with them. Yeah, last time I, we had this problem. After I finished streaming, I chatted with them. Yeah. And it was bad before I started chatting. And I sent them screenshots. Yeah. And they're like, oh, we looked and we couldn't find anything. Can you try a speed test? Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. They, they, they flipped the switch so you could... Uh... Yeah, they turned up the dial. The suck dial. Turned it down. Yeah. Um, I tried assembly language on my Amiga 500 way back in the day. Lack of resources, no internet, or anybody asked questions. Usually started a project, hit a roadblock, then would try another project. Nothing ever finished, but learned a bit back then. Bits and pieces. Uh, my next question was, how was, the, how was the reception of your games at the bar slash restaurant slash pub you made cartridges for? Because he posted that he made a cartridge for himself, mm. and he made another cartridge for this kind of uh, board game slot. Like, we have one around here mm -hmm. um, in Vancouver. It's called the Storm Crow. Yeah. Um, it doesn't have video games as Storm Crow, but it has board games and card games and things like that. Mm. This one has video games as well, mm. which they would get very sticky and probably gross. <laughs> Not like the board games don't. They're mm. really gross and, mm. and messy. Um, and so he made another copy for them. Uh, and he says, don't know about the reception of my games. Never seen anyone pick it up. I just drop off a copy in the box for whoever. Mm -hmm. um, so you done this game? There's not much to it. No. Unless you want to you kick at it? Yeah. 230? Is that your top score? Yeah, I don't seem to get past there. <laughs> I'm not slowing down and speeding up. I think if I played with that a little bit. Ah. Let's see if I can. Oh. <laughs> I'll go to medium. Ah! <laughs> That's the tough part. Yeah. It changes courses. And all you're like, sudden. ah, wall! <laughs> ah! Tomb overstairs. Go! I told you. I told yeah. you it's sticky. It is, the but walls you press are forward sticky. and it does get out. Yeah, but it takes a little while. It does, but... It's not fast. I don't think... It's a huge disadvantage. Oh! Yeah. Yeah. The more you can turn out of it, the better. Yeah. Oh, it helps. I think I'm going to go slow on this, because this it, is... It is. It is pretty tough. Oh! Steer just a little bit. <laughs> I mean, it's a very good representation of the game. I think it could be made better with driving controllers, for sure. Go. Steering with driving controllers. Are you able to read that out? Or what no? am I reading? <laughs> the interview. That's what I handed no, to you. No, but what part? What part? Uh, right after nobody played my games at the bar. Uh, I shouldn't have to scroll. Uh, it was right on there. Uh, <laughs> How was the? Re it was the second question. How was the reception? Oh. Did you give the answer that for that? Yeah. Okay. So the next question is, did you work on your 2600 games on your own? Was there some somewhere you went for help? Are you part of the Atari Age forum? And uh, he said, as far as ColecoVision, I've only done one so far. I remade I for it. Oh. Was a Kindle book on programming ColecoVision in assembly that came out and I wanted to try and learn a little... 240. Z80 CPU assembly language. Obviously the questions are not... Uh lined up with the answers? Uh -huh. No, oh. I don't think so. Okay. Yeah, no, the, no that one does. That, there. that makes kind of sense. <laughs> Checking my Android, very different, but still freezing. Yeah. Um, looks like it's... Getting better? It's green now. Oh, it's red. Still red. That's current. Oh. That's totalitarian. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's better now. Yeah. 
I bet your ISP is clandestinely throttling your bandwidth when you start to stream. I, I have so. suspected that. Yeah. But we've gone months without problems. Yeah, and then all of a sudden. And it's been iffy for the past month. Yeah. Um, that is a possibility. Absolutely. I mean, they should not be looking at what I'm doing. No. If they give me 15 megabits per second up, I should get 15 megabits per second up. The entire time. 100 times. 100%. Yeah. Yeah, no, agree. If I abuse it, which I'm not. Yes. I do this twice a week. Yeah. Um, then sure, okay. Um, so we're gonna go to the third game, which is Digits. This mm. is um, an interesting game. Mm. Kind of a puzzly Ooh. game. You wanna pick? There you go. So press a button to stop that craziness. Okay. So what you are trying to do, let's see if I can figure this out to the best of my abilities, because I played this a little bit beforehand because I knew it's a little bit challenging. Um, on the bottom, it says one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Yeah. Uh, in LED, because he loves those old style mm -hmm. things. Uh, you're trying to get each of those numbers. You're okay. trying to make those numbers. Based on what? The brighter green? Based on the green. The brighter green or the green? The brighter green. Well, both. Because there's not so bright red and bright red. Yeah. So there's not so bright green and bright green. And you have to okay. match the green to the red. Um, and below, you have different uh, options. Up and down, combine, press up, uh, col one, just one. Discard, <laughs> discard collect, and collect. Combine. Discard, collect. Yeah. Yeah. Discard, um, collect, combine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we're good now. This game might be a bit weird to watch in low bandwidth. Mm. So on the top, you can move around, move across. Yeah. And what you do is you pick one. Yeah. And you are merging it with the thing on the right-hand side. On the right-hand side? See that one by itself? Yeah. You're taking the one with that you've underlined. Or combined. Yeah. And so now I you've made a two. A two. Yeah. So now don't press anything. Okay. Go down. Go down. No, yeah. no, not left or right. Go down. 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 Collect. Now, oh. Now you've got a two. Oh, okay, right? okay. Okay. It's a little weird, but I get it. It is. It is weird. Okay. okay. Um, that makes sense. So if you think of the kind of brighter green as adding. Oh, and then the other subtracting. As subtracting. But it's kind of just overlaying, really. Yeah, okay. That makes um, sense. I don't quite understand discarding yet. Um, but maybe you can figure it out. I'm going to read what he says. My latest game, Digits. I did an NES version first and thought I would try and make an Atari version. Combine lit up segments and dark segments to change the status of the seven segment LED display on the right. Um, to make the digits as they're shown un in under 99 turns. So you've got one out of ten. Oh, I see. Okay. Because it says three, combine three. Yeah. So you have to keep under 99. So you've got kind of, mm. I don't know what you could make out of that. I mean, the, you can make a six or an eight. I mean, all you need is the top one, but you don't have any. No, I only have dark. Now, it does have discard. Mm. And discard gets rid of one of those, I think, and replaces it. Oh, the one you're on. Yeah. So oh, it's like, I can't use that at all. I want a new one. But remember, it uses up a turn each time. Yeah. Now, you could go for something else. Um, if you could get rid of all the stuff on the left. Oh, almost. You could make a one. Let's see if you can make a one... Yes. Okay. Go to the bottom left one. 
combine it. Oh, I just, just discarded oh, it. Oh, no. Isn't that it? Isn't that it, though? Those were the same, weren't no. they? No. No, because that'll change the bottom right into a, a lighter green. I'm trying to make a one. Um, that one? Uh, that'll help. Or this. Oh, yeah. That'll work. Do that. There you go. Now collect. Yes. There you go. Okay. That's how you do it. I understand. Figured it out. Um, so on in on October 2nd, on October 6th, 2020, on his Facebook page, he posted, finished writing my third Nintendo game, Digits, a transparent card game of sorts. Try to play cards to turn segments on and off to make numbers on a seven-segment LED display. Um, and then on October 18th, 2020, did a conversion of my Digits game for Nintendo over to Atari 2600. Took about a week. That's really good. Make this game in a week. Uh, wound up being an 8K bank switch game. Tight fit. I plan on making a custom cartridge or two uh, made of it before throwing the ROM image out there. So let's go back to the interview here. So we've got three. Eight's an easy one because it just add, add, add. Mm. Well, if you can get rid of everything, you can. There's a four there. <laughs> uh, hmm. You want to get rid of the top for the four. Um, let's see. As far as re resources for learning, I downloaded a couple of old books on assembly language, covered some 6502 basic CPU, another covered Z80 for the language portion. Otherwise, I ordered Making Games for the Atari 2600 by Stephen Hug. That book helped so much programming Atari 2600 hardware. Pretty much covered all the topics needed to make a game. A little pricey, but I think there is a Kindle version cheaper. Another book I ordered was the Atari Programming for Newbies by Andrew Davey. <laughs> uh, dirt cheap price. I think the other book covers more, but the second one seems to have its own strengths. Understood asymmetric playfields much better with the chart. So much, so many tricks needed to make an Atari game some sometimes. That's pretty much what an Atari is. Mm. It's just all tricks and understanding how to do it. How to make, bend the 2600 yes. to your will. What are you trying to make now? I'm not sure, but I think I'm going to discard something. Mm. That didn't help. Well, a little bit. So, I would just concentrate on one thing and just go for yeah, it. Yeah, no, you Rather have to... than, what does this fit into? I mean, if you're close. I mean, you're close to a six, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Um, I did Atari stuff for a while but wanted to try other systems Stephen Hug did another book on making games for the NES I bought the Kindle version of, uh, of that one covers programming C at the beginning uh, I'm not a fan of C personally I'm just used to assembly the later section of the book covered assembly language examples more so I worked with that the YouTube videos helped with other stuff I was stuck on Otherwise, Atari Age usually has an answer to what uh, you're looking for, usually. Then I got the bank switching demo files there to work with. Other than that, some general reading and tinkering. Played around with an Altair 8800 simulator on my laptop and read the manual. Crazy thinking of entering a program with toggle switches. Yeah, that sounds tedious. I'm not part of the Atari Age forum. Just look around at posts. Mm. You really should join the Atari Age forum. Because then you can ask questions and somebody will answer it for you. Mm -hmm. But I mean, there's like so many years. What is it? 2003 is like early? Like 17 years of people asking and answering questions. Okay, it's my turn. Ah. Taking too long. I know, there, it's a lot nothing. of thinking. You're almost out of thinking. a two, but you already have a two. Hmm? No, I'm, I'm not going for a two. Okay, give to me. All right. Give to me. <laughs> There's like a four here. This uh, one? Oh, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, seven's not bad. Four. Oh, I shouldn't have done it that order. No. <laughs> Moving too fast. Oh no. Nine. 
Almost. Maybe no! <laughs> You're going to have to discard, I think, a couple of the blackout ones. Uh, maybe that one. That would get... Well, you have an eight already. Um, yeah, I mean, well, I can start with that. What? And then subtract something. Yeah, but you need to have something to subtract to make it something. Does that help? No. no. <laughs> Does that help? No. <laughs> does no. that help? It does not. It does not help. <laughs> oh no. Well, do some discarding. We're at 21 already. What should I get rid of? Um, that's almost a six. I'm going to keep <laughs> that one. I just need something to combine with it. Oh. You've almost Ooh. got a five. I've almost got a six. Why do you almost have a six? It's that yeah. plus that equals a six. I just need to get rid of that. You got rid of it. Oh my god! <laughs> it is a complicated. Okay. Collect, discard. Combine. There you go. Then that one. There we go. Six. Good job. Six. Okay, what am I close to? That's almost a nine. Five. That one. Five? Oh. Yeah? Yeah, that's a five. Right. Combine oh. it. Combine it. There you go. Nice. Sometimes it's easy. Sometimes you're like, ugh, <laughs> nothing looks good. Uh, what am I close to now? I'm a nine still. So I just need the right hand side. Three, sides. four, seven, nine. That one I need. <sighs> oh. No. If I do that one, then that one. Yeah. That, that one. one, and then the one at the top. That one. Oh, the. Oh, do I need a bottom part? No, uh, yeah. Damn. So you need that. There you go. It was more than you needed, but that's fine. Okay. Close to a uh, three. You need to get rid of some of the. Well, close yeah. to a three. Yeah, you need to get rid of something. Or maybe I can. Yeah, zero. You can't get it all. We can I use it. I need this. Might as well use it rather than discard it. That's a zero. Hit that one. Oh. There you go. Oh, nice. Uh, seven. Do you have an Odyssey two? Three you could seven. demo on the show. No, Ooh. I don't. Unfortunately, I never got into Odyssey two. The it just looks so simplistic, like so, like so chunky, that I never thought. Hmm. Yeah. So this is parts of a four. Yeah. Yeah. You need. I more. need that one. Um, yeah. Well, let's get rid of the bottom. No. You could. I mean, you need to replace it with something anyway. Is that close to anything? No, I'm going to have to get rid of some things. Is that a good one? Nope. I don't need any left at all. Left, lower left at all. No, keep the keep the positive ones. It's the negative ones, the ones that take away that. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good Ooh, for a four. That's a great four. And I just need something on the on the right. I don't like the definitions at the bottom. Should be add. Oh. Uh, Score? that one, if you add it and then take out the top, I think you've Get got a, a four. You've got a four. So oh. click that one, yep. combine that one, and then... That one? Yeah. No, and combine. That is a four. Combine. I know. Yeah. 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 There you nice. go. Nice. And we have a seven and a three. And neither of them have that. Is that close to... It's a close-ish to a three. That one's got some three parts. I think that one's Ooh. best for three. You yawning? Yeah. Stop your yawning. It's my head. 
seven and three. I'm gonna do both of those. Basically got an eight, but then you have to get rid of the... Look at that thing. It's the opposite of a three. Yeah. <laughs> Inverse three. Uh, gonna have to get rid of that. That will help. Oh, none of these have get rid of the both left things. Hmm. Nothing gets rid of the left. In verse seven. <laughs> it knows. Um, yeah, you need to get rid of the left, so yeah. you need to keep replacing until you have something to get rid of. That gets rid of one of them. That gets rid of the other. Yeah, that's fine. Do, do both of those. And then I can go to the bottom there. Do both of those. Oh, no, 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 no. First, I'll do this. Yeah. Then I'll do this. No. No, D delete the Damn other it. side. Oh, no, I yeah, I can do it. <laughs> you do the top right one. You're doing three, right? Yeah. Do that one. Do the, go, do that, that guy. Go down one. Like, that one, one over. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Nice. And then it's just the seven. So you have... The left-hand side. Nice oh, yeah. So if you do the one right there. next to it, seven. That We're going for seven, right? Yeah, yeah. So you need to get rid of. Oh, okay. Uh, get. I could do that one. Combine that one. Do that one. Get then rid of the one. middle. Then do. Then that one. And oh no. Yeah, mm, you did it out of order, I think. Yeah. Ah. You lose the top if you Ooh, use. You could do that one. Yes. Yay! Yay! That is a good game. Yeah. That's a very it's good just, puzzle it's just game. It's a puzzle game. Yeah, fun. It's not too long. No. It's very understandable. Uh, you have to get get it within a hundred moves. Is that how 99. It works? Ninety nine. Ninety nine. Yeah, that's digits. that's a fair. That's doable. That's doable. That's great. Yeah. That's that's. Yeah. A really Simple. Good it's like game. a it's like a calculator game. You know. Like, <laughs> a broken calculator broken game. Broken calculator game. <laughs> oh, that's mm. really good. Cool. Hi, buddy. Okay, so uh, we're gonna move on to the next game. See, I told you they're very diverse. Yeah. Really diverse games. Oh, oh, oh. Excuse me. Uh, the next one's called I. It's very strange. Now you are battling an eye. An eyeball? An eyeball. Okay. How does this work? I'll tell you in a second. Okay, oh, you're the outside it? dude. Yeah. The eyeball in the center is the enemy. Okay. He just closed his eye. You open it up. You have to see where his eyeball is. And you only have one button. Yeah, I noticed. The thing you want to get, you're dead. The thing you want to get is uh -huh. the dot that's you... moving around. Okay. So, so when it's in your path, you have to get it. Speed up and get it. But can you jump levels? You jump levels automatically when you get the dot. Oh, okay. Yeah. And you don't want to be seen by the eye. Was digits random? Yeah. 100% random. Mm. All the stuff at the top was sent to you randomly. Mm. Um, so you it, you play it differently every time. 100% mm. recommended. If you mm. love puzzle games, that is an amazing puzzle game. So there's no eyeball yet. Get that. Get it. Get it. Get it. There. See, now you went move into the center. Mm. But you have to watch out where... Okay, he's closed his eye. Go oh, get it! When is it open? It's open now. Oh, he's seeing you. He's catching up. Oh. He's closing his eye. It's coming to your level soon there. You got it. Is it closed when it's black? Yeah. 
closed when it's black. It's a little... Oh, made just level two. This is stressful. <laughs> Dude, this is stressful. <laughs> Uh, Shoki 1968 says, Love my Odyssey 2. Underappreciated machine with some great ports of a Magic and Parker Brothers games and some fun original um, like Casey Crazy Chase and some nice homebrews like Mr. Roboto. Packrat has a nice multi card for it. Oh, he saw me. Oh. Cool. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Yep. Keep, Keep going. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, that would be great to get an Odyssey 2 with a multi-card, because then you're you're off to the races. Oh, and then Packrat says, yes, I do have a multi-card. Um, I re always remember seeing Odyssey 2 cartridges in the big bins at Value Village when I was hunting for Atari cartridges back in the day. But I don't think I ever saw a, an Odyssey for sale, and I didn't know anything about it. Go, run. Oh, yeah, that's helping a lot, isn't it? Yeah, especially in a one-button game. Ugh, I hate this controller. Well, don't mangle it. Don't don't get mad at it. I Crunch will it. get mad at it. No. It deserves all my anger. No. You're scaring the cat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he says I was a, a fast one-button game experiment. How did he see me? Does the eye catch you? Is that the idea? You have to move faster so the eye doesn't catch you? Yeah, you have to avoid it. Um, but he definitely didn't oh, see on. me. I didn't He's think... tracking you right there. He's following along with you. Yeah, but I was ahead of him. Maybe I wasn't. You were, you're right on track with him, right there. But, like the whole time. But how Whenever does he see me when I'm in that corner? Look where I am. Uh, he, Wherever you are, I think. But I don't, how, You have to be out I've of just, sync with him. But then I have to you speed up. You are perfectly in... Yeah, you, I know, because I was him. speeding up. So well, I, slow down I was keeping in track with him. I thought I had to speed up and get ahead of him. You just have to be out of his sight. So don't be in sync with his eyeball. Going but if out. I stop going faster, he will get me, won't he? Oh, I think he constantly changes his speed. His speed? Okay. So, so just, he's not moving at a consistent speed then? That's a good question. I don't know. You'll have to figure that out. Um... Use the fire button to go fast or slow. Touching the moving dot will move you mm. in a lane until you reach the eye. If the eye sees you in its field of vision, looking around, it drains energy from you until the game ends. Oh, There's no score in this game, just how many levels you can pass. There are five, the last one being the black uh, maze level. I just beat the game for the first time today. <laughs> I've never had a custom cart made for this one. Mm. Brooke told me before That's the show... I got to the black level one time before. It's timing uh, timing between trying to move in a lane and not letting the eye see you. Kind of like it's looking left. If you're on the left side, your energy will drain. So when it's flashing, it's draining your energy. Yeah, when it's looking left. So you want to be on the exact opposite side of the screen is what... Right. It's not even about being out of sync. You truly want to be... Way out of its vision. Way out of its vision. Um... If it's looking up and left, it looks for you in the upper left corner from the middle of the screen up to the center of the screen. Kind of like 45, 45 degree angles. Interesting. Getting to the inner lanes early helps. Less distance to cover to avoid being seen. Yeah, because there's a big... Thank you, make Muse, for subscribing. By the way, I got that working again. <laughs> Yay. Oh. Tier 1 for five months in advance? Oh, nice. What does that mean? It means, means prepaid five... for five months. <laughs> wow, thank you so much, McMuse. Have you played this? Uh, no, very, oh, very, very. It's early. interesting. Um, I think he saw you when you passed by the opening. <laughs> Pax, I bought both multi cards. For yeah, me. you really want him to be looking the complete opposite direction or he drains you. Restart with fire button, please. But he drains you. So that makes more sense. It's not just him seeing you, ah. like he's draining you when he's flashing, yes. but if he's looking at a slower speed than you're moving, or a faster speed, then he will automatically become out of sync ah. with you. You yes. don't want to speed up if he's moving faster than you. Yeah. So it's kind of, it's all in the timing. How do you, ah, uh, oh my god. Ah. He drains you too. It's interesting. It's you, very interesting. How do you predict where the thing is, though? Where the dot is? You don't. You saw ya. See, it's not easy. 
not easy. It's kind of random. Like when he opens his eye, it's it's pretty random. There you go. Ah. Okay. Yeah. So it goes to the center. Then it goes down the right hand side. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. See see you're timed up with him. You don't speed up necessarily. Sometimes not speeding up. It's coming down here. No. See, you want to speed up when he's on the other side yes. and slow down when he's on your side, because then he'll get past okay. you. That's that. That's I think the the approach. But it also depends because you move faster around your circle if you're closer to the middle. So his speed might not change, but your speed does. Yes, it does. What I got that. Kind of random. It goes across that, then it goes across, across, across. So if I get up here, right about now. Ah, oh, there we go. Now what's the pattern now? Across, across, across. He's he's draining you. You have to look at both things. Yeah, I don't even look at the dot. It's it's I I, I almost feel like it's random if the it's dot's not. in your path. It's not. The dot, the dot being in your path? No, I know where No, it no, but I mean, oh, I but I mean, it. you're better off looking at the eye than the dot, because eventually it'll end up in your path. True. Well, mm, mm, I don't mm. know. Maybe not. Maybe there is. Maybe there is something to. There's a pattern. To counting the pattern, but then you have to do. Oh, that. I know what the pattern is. It just goes up, up, up. It's gonna be at the top soon. Right around now. Ah! Oh my God. Okay, it's gonna be. Oh my God! It's so hard to time up. Speed up! Speed up! Speed up! Speed up! He's catching up to you. Ah! Get it! Ah! Oh, I see. Yes. Yeah, when up. he's on the opposite side, you want to speed up to stay ahead of him. When he's on your side, get it, get it, get it, get slowing it. down oh. seems to work better than speeding up. Mmm. Wonder if your health resets. No. Nope. Nope, <laughs> it does not reset each level. Yes, it would be nice if there was a drain gauge. Just a Yeah, so just you knew bar. when you were getting close, yeah. But I mean Yeah. You die when you die. Mm-hmm. Do you see it's the pattern of the dot now? I wasn't paying attention to the dot. I was looking at the okay. eye. It just goes like across the screen from bottom to top yeah it just across goes across the screen. the screen yeah you're, why are you speeding up when he's looking at you slow down <laughs> and when he's on the opposite side you speed up so that he doesn't catch up with you I'm watching the dot <laughs> no and why because you can't control the dot i know but i can control where i am in relation to the dot yeah but but that's a problem because then i get it out of sync with the eye yeah <laughs> it's damn hard. It is hard. It's okay, I'm simple. gonna ignore the dot. Yeah, just worry about the, the eye. One. You kind of you can always get the first one. Oh. oh, you can't. If you speed up quick, you can get the first right one. Right at the beginning, yeah. Right at the beginning of the game. I don't know. I'm touching it. You can only slow down so far. The luck of the draw. Where does he look first? Left. Left? Okay. Oh my god. Hard game. Oh, get the dot. Quick. Uh, there we go. So, oh, yeah, he does left left first. Yeah, always? I don't know. Oh, he's going to look left. Uh, yep, he always looks left. Oh, Perfect. that tells you something. Oh, you got him. Oh, just missed it. Now you're, yeah, there you go. Then you slow down. Just stay out of the way. Perfect. Nice. Next level. Okay, stay out of the way. Oh, damn it. Oh, he's looking, he's going f way faster he, now. he goes way faster, yeah. He but then how do you, you, how do you even avoid that? You, you, you stay behind him. Always be yeah behind him. Okay. Get the dot. Get it. Uh, 
Ah, he's looking left. Ah. <laughs> Be on the opposite side. Ah, just missed it. Opposite side. <laughs> oh, run, 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 that run. wasn't fair. Did I just miss it? Yeah. Blip, blip, blip. There you go. Oh, got it. Ah, he's gonna look. Ah, stop. Ah, you're <laughs> like trailing him. I'm scared. <laughs> ah, loop around quick. Get the dot. Oh, no. There, get, get him. Oh, oh good job. Good. Death, instant How did death. You die? There you go. I kind of get the game now, but it's still hard. Yeah, it is hard, hard as hell. Get the first dot. Go, go, go. There. He's going to look. Ah, bad start. Terrible start. Atrocious start. <laughs> read more of the interview with Brooke. Okay, where did we stop here? Oh, second level. No! Are you planning to, to continue to create more 2600 games in the future? I get ideas and try some experiments to see if some something is a realistic goal. Doing trench on graph paper with a protractor and a calculator was a pain, but it was looking possible. I have a, a couple of other ideas I'm tinkering with, just thinking of how to pull it off the best way possible. It's like the goal has to be realistic and I have to be motivated to do it. That's one thing I like about homebrew stuff, originality. You're not working for a company that says, here, I want you to make this, and it has to be done this way. Now this other guy will draw the art for you, this one will do the music. Homebrew, you can make something totally different that people might like instead of recycling the same ideas over and over with better graphics and sound. Digits oh. was just to see if Enjoy I could make him. an NES version on tighter hardware. I think it only took a week or two. Uh, How do you avoid him? He's, he goes so fast. You have to be just behind oh, him. There just you go. behind him. Because he only does one full circuit, right? And he's faster than you. Yeah, he is. Therefore, you'll always... Oh, just be behind him. There, perfect. There. So as long as you make the loop again. You want to be or as close. Ooh, oh, shit. You're inside, so. Yeah, you're much faster. Much faster. You might make it to level three. Nice. Oh, man, he's even faster now. Unique game. I like that. <laughs> I like it, Pack Rat says. Very smart. Yeah. Yeah, he's a bit faster again. Oh, it's, it's terrible when you're on the outside. <gasps> Slow down. Yeah, the outside is deadly. So as long as you're close. Oh, he starts in the lower left then, because he's Does catching he? you. Yeah, wait, wait. Oh. oh, just as long as you're not past that corner, the left corner. Is he starting at a different spot? I don't know. No, no. no. Just slow down. Yeah. No. Oh, he got me. That was pretty good, though. It, it, when it starts good. timing up really fast, it's, uh, we like the cornea jokes. Ah, ha, ha, it's Kev. That was great. Oh, Kev. <laughs> good times. Cornea jokes. <laughs> so we're going to move on to the next game. The next game is a beast. It is crazy, crazy. Mm. but very interesting. Um, it is uh, the, is it the digital, no, the binary game. Mm. Okay, so this is a game pretty much for programmers or people who want to learn how to program. Very interesting. <laughs> nope, you can figure it out. The Binary Game is a homebrew Atari 2600 game that was a quick project created in 6502 assembly language. 
in the space of about two weeks. It was an experiment of an odd idea to see if it could be turned into a game. It was done to try and make something quite different for a game concept. While it may seem confusing at first, let's see, it might be easier if you guys can see it. No, not that. <laughs> it's not helpful. That. <laughs> it might be confusing at first. It shouldn't take too long to get the hang of it. There's some basic concepts shown in the back of this book to give hints on how to match the goal number more quickly. And there's an instruction uh, booklet. Mm. Well, it's actually a bunch of images <laughs> mm. that, I, that I combine into um, a printout. Um, and he numbered them zero through, it's like zero C through H, which is not hexadecimal, which is like octadecimal okay i'm not sure what that is once you go past f um because it's like 18 <laughs> 18 counting system uh you will also see as time goes by that you don't really need to figure out the value of a number in many cases you just will see how certain patterns will give you the answer the binary game is a single player game using the left joystick controller Instruction choices are selected by moving the joystick left or right. So try that right now. Have you done any pro any assembly language programming? No. Okay. That's going to be to your detriment. Yeah, I, I, I think you might have to do this because I'm not feeling great today either. So I'm not <laughs> sure I have the brain, pa brain, brain capacity to okay. learn. Okay, I'll help you. Yeah. Um... The fire button will execute the current choice if possible. Okay. Turning on your system, you will see three lines rapidly changing. You will. Okay. Um, pressing the fire button or pressing reset will stop the random number shuffling, giving three numbers in binary form. Oh, okay, when we were doing it. Uh, one of the five possible selections for last move will be given and a timer will begin countdown. Oh, there's your timer. Mm. Um, everything's in binary. Mm. So you can see the timer yep. is counting down in binary. Mm. So the last digit's always going off, on, yep. off, on, yep. in, et cetera, et cetera. You know binary. Yeah, generally. That's yeah. good. Yeah. But if you know binary, that'll be a massive I help. don't know binary. I know I know how, you know how it's represented. So yeah. yeah. One, two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty two, yep. sixty four. Yep. There's a little yep. diagram the there with, with yeah. light bulbs. <laughs> yep. And you add them up. Uh, it's how computers count mm -hmm. and keep track of things. Um, the timer is labeled T. You have four minutes and 15 seconds to solve as many puzzles as possible. 255 seconds. Ooh, what a coincidence. The score will be displayed next to the Y, which is at the bottom there, which is mm -hmm. zero right now. And he's got those up down so you can know what position the points are in, right? So if it was just blank or empty, you'd be like, was oh, that a two or a one point? Right? Um, when the time expires, the game will end and the numbers will begin scrambling again. If you wish to continue with the current score, press fire, reset, and the clock will reset. If you wish to start at zero, power off and on your system again. That's a very strange way of scoring. Mm. Like you keep adding to your score. Mm. Like you keep playing and playing. Hmm. What is binary? We're going to skip that. Because you know binary, I know binary, and 99% of the people watching this know binary. <laughs> if you don't know what, how to account in binary, please pause now. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, how to read the display. So the top left is the instruction selected. Uh, ASL is arithmetic, arithmetic shift left. Arithmetic shift left, I believe. Uh, logical shift right. Mm -hmm. I'm not great. So I'm going to get some of these wrong. Um, keep going through them. Uh, ROL. Oh, boy. Is. Uh, everybody's going to be screaming at me in the chat. Rotate left. Mm -hmm. so that moves. Rotate right. Everything I left. It. Oh, it wraps around. Okay. ROR's rotate right. Yeah. It takes the one and puts it on the um, the Other least end? least uh, digit. Oh my God, my naming for this least significant uh, bit okay. and puts it on the highest significant bit. Okay. Um, ADC uh, add 
add with carry. Um, so you've got the X and the accumulator. So it adds X to the accumulator mm -hmm. um, with a carry. I don't see a carry anywhere. But OK, keep going. Oh, we don't need to set a flag in this game. Just think add and you will be fine. SBC is subtract with carry. OK. And is uh, bitwise and with the accumulator. Um, so anding two things. The only time it keeps, oh, game over. You add two things, like a one and a one equals a one. Zero and a one equals zero. One and zero equals zero. Zero, zero equals zero. So the only time it keeps it is a one and a one. Anyway, so let's, um, okay, press the button to keep going and keep scrolling through it. And an ORA is a bitwise OR with accumulator. If we don't have to use all these um, really advanced ones <laughs> that you have to think about, we can just use adding and subtracting mm. at first. Uh, okay, next one. Uh, bitwise exclusive or quite similar. Um, let's see. Yeah, it gives examples. I'm not going to go through them. Okay, next one. Increase x by one. Mm. Okay, that's very self-explanatory. Okay, decrease x by one. Okay, and we're back to the beginning. Okay, so we've got our x. Mm -hmm. That's and we've got our accumulator. And then we have the goal is okay. to make the accumulator look, look like, like that. that. Yeah. Where is the carry? World's most painful game. game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty geeky. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's really good exercise. For, yeah, if you're trying to count binary. If you're yeah. trying to count binary and learn yeah. assembly, because these are the basic instructions mm. for manipulating numbers mm. in assembly language. And half of these I'm like, ah, I have to look these up every single time. When I'm programming, I have a, a cheat sheet, like yeah. a chart with like all of this and how all oh, the dinosaur fell down. Yeah, you fell over. Oh, yum, 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 yum. Yeah. Um, okay. So let's just try some out. Sure. So ASL, uh, arithmetic shift left. No, 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 stay shift on that left. one. No, stay on that one. Uh, no, I'm just looking. I'm okay. looking. You we're, want me to do use this one? Yeah. So we're going to go through arithmetic shift left. What that means is that the bits are all shifted one space to the left. If no bit was shoved off the edge, um, the result will be the same as multiplying the number by two. The left arrow is the symbol to show bits shift left. So press it. So it moves everything which mm. is the res same as multiplying by two mm. and then the next one is so, and there's no carry so it doesn't bring one in mm -hmm. and same as the um shift are you doing left now yeah yeah oh and what's that okay Sl slow down let's go to i and x plus one that's another it's an easy one to talk about Okay, so press on that one, and it adds one. Mm. So change the one to a two, and then whatever else is there. Adds another one. Now we're up to um, 128. It wrapped. Now we're up to 129, because it's 128 plus one. It's 129. Now we're up to 130, 131, etc. Right? So, actually, this will be a really easy one to solve. Would be, yeah, won't it? Yep. So just get it. A couple more. A couple more. One more. Okay. Now shift it to the left. That one? Yep. Oh no. Okay. Do it anyway. And then go back and add one. Yeah, but we've already got one in the accumulator, so oh, it's okay. Do it's you okay. Need we'll to, figure it you out. You need to add. We'll we'll, we'll figure this out. Do you uh, need yeah, to add? add one. So now we've got it 
you got to get rid of the accumulator. Then. We've got to subtract eight. <laughs> um, so we could subtract eight by just Can't we just subtract eight. the accumulator and then add it back up? Uh, How do, you, do you subtract the accumulator? Okay. Is Can you do that? Subtract the accumulator? Uh, no, you have to do the inverse and add. Oh, we're out of time. Do the inverse and add? Yeah, you'd have to or it. And... Oh, this one's good. Or is it? So, so how do you get rid of the accumulator? Um, you're using the accumulator. You put things into it. And then do something to it. So how do you use it is what I'm saying. Oh, like, you have to make... You... Okay. <laughs> oh my god. I don't understand. You have to use all the different things. A ADC is adding to the accumulator. ADC? No, but but how do you get rid of the accumulator? Because you, you can't win. Oh, to blank it out? Yeah. Like, well, you have, that's your goal at the bottom there. So those two have to add together? Um, nope. You make the accumulator look like that. Oh, you want the accumulator to look like yes. that. Okay, so that's what's confusing. Yeah. So how do you interact X and A? Um, add with carry. So ADC adds X to A. Mm. Mm. So if... Yeah, I am terrible <laughs> at this. Terrible. <laughs> Doesn't like it if you do it indefinitely. Yeah. Andrew Davy says, if this was my intro to binary, I'd never become a programmer. <laughs> yeah, terrible. Don't ask me to uh, teach anybody binary or assembly language, that's for sure. Yeah, no, this isn't going to work. I don't know enough oh. about how, to, how this yeah. works. Let's see. Let me play. Yeah. I, I, I don't know enough about binary and what it looks like when you add and subtract. So let's just do something simple. Be nice if the accumulator was a multiple of X, and so, then you just go Bleh. So I've got rid of everything. So but in, that's just two, isn't it? That's two. Yeah, it's two. Um, so you just want to add a whole bunch of stuff to it. <laughs> so if I make everything, I'm just going to do something so simple. People who actually know how to do this are probably like, oh my God. Yeah, it's like, it's like the <laughs> what are you doing? Absolute worst way to do this, but there and then get there one, one more. more there and then there. So <laughs> now I can add it to the accumulator. That's that I've should win. It. That should win. Do I not? Do I submit it? That is, I got it, right? Yeah. 255 INX statements in a row. <laughs> That's the way <laughs> to do it. This is how James writes his game programs, too. <laughs> yep. Just a ton of, if I need to add 10, I just do 10. Add one, add one, add one, add one. Add one, add one, add one, add one. <laughs> because you can't directly interact with X. Like when you're programming in assembly, you could say x equals 10, x yeah. equals 20. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. This one you it's can't. It's just about, it's just a binary puzzle. I mean, I should it's have done this. It's just a binary this, puzzle. Right? I should have done this and moved it over and then added, right? Yeah, yeah. It's like the, the fewest moves possible, I'm sure. But A is that. How do you, how do you, I matched it. Yeah. Did I, I didn't even get a point. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. 
This is torturous to, to do. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> um, it's interesting, though. I mean, for, for someone interested in binary and, and, and these little puzzles. Yeah. It's, you know, who, it's, who understand the functions and they'll play with it. Uh, when I do some more programming, I'll come back to this game. Yeah. <laughs> and just mop the floor with it. Uh, sure. But I don't know. It didn't work. Optimization needed, lol. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Munch, bunch of optimization, <laughs> that's for sure. Divide by zero to see what happens, yeah. Ooh. No, there's no divide <laughs> in assembly, so that's not going to work. Uh, how to read the display. So the basic idea will be using the instructions to change the bits on X register mostly. So in combination with the A register and executing the final instruction given to match the binary value given in the goal. We did that. Broken. Or I'm just not understanding. Or the two have to add each other? No, because the last operation yeah. matched A to That's A. That's true. That's true. That was it. Mm -hmm. So anyway, so that is the last <laughs> game by Brooke Anderson. Yeah. Um, great learning tool for people learning assembly. Yeah. Terrible for me because I don't know enough of the operations to do it. Um, and uh, I think I finished the interview let me just check to make sure I got the rest of it fortunately he was not able to make it into the chat he's at work right now um, sorry <laughs> distracted and I asked him why did he decide to go public with these six 2600 games now and how have you found the reception in the community um, I was working on another idea, getting stuck a little, and looking at the animation, wondering if it could look decent. I uh, thought about my older games, and I was thinking maybe I could fix them now. Um, back then, on some projects, you start getting overwhelmed, and your head starts to swim trying to th keep things mm. straight. After this many games, you start tracking down some problems faster from prior experience. I was looking through Trench, trying to remember why I did, did things certain ways. Some stuff was like, why would I do it this way? Found a few lines that were not needed and seemed to fix the scanline bug from branching when the joystick was pressed in a certain direction. Mm. Blip skip ball was a tight fix. The double whistle stuff and scoring for the opponent team. Did some fixing in the first bank, at the sec but the second bank, dot, dot, dot. Must be only a couple bytes left. Uh, so with two fairly solid running games, I decided to put them up. So we put up two of them, which are the blip, sk blip skip ball mm. and the trench. Everybody seemed supportive, which was cool. Didn't think that it would go over this well. Brian asked me, uh, Arena Foot, mm. uh, if I could fill in the blanks for some other games, so I put them all up. Nice. They're all quite playable. Just those minor glitches I can't figure out sometimes. Sometimes mm. you can come back to it and figure it out. Blipscaball was going to be my second game, but it was looking pretty blocky and crude. Looks great. Mm. Code was making my head swim, too. Uh, months later, I realized all sorts of swapping trips, tricks between missiles and playfield to give it a look I was after. Um... He said, nice playing on Trench for us. <laughs> uh, yeah, Star Trek humor. What, what was the joke we were making about Star oh, Trek? No, I can't remember. Oh, no, someone made a reference um, to one of the episodes. SBC should have been the last instruction. Oh. What is that one? SBC minus? Subtract with carry. Oh. Right? SBC? To subtract it from the final... Goal? Here, it is there. It was right there. You flipped right past oh. it. Subtract with carry. This one. Oh, subtract with carry. Hmm. Okay. If you subtract with carry, you'll get a result less than zero. If you will hear a buzz sound, and the action will cancel. Mm. Oh, I don't know. That's all right. That's all right. <laughs> Um, yes, the scoring goes up when you don't collide, but subtracts when you do collide. So we figured it out. Yeah. It's because you got, we were getting zero at the end of the game because we were hitting things too many times. Yes. Yeah. But if you got through a couple things at the end, you had a score. A score, yeah. Um, the pattern stays the same like screens on Pitfall as it uses a pseudo random number generator to determine what's coming up. Mm. At the end of the game, moving up or down changes the text color to max me menu selections from the start. Um, uh, the stability of the game. Did you say it went nuts on a regular Atari? 
I was using Stella and was counting 262 scan lines even with direction changes in the debugger. And I'm just going to show you quick that it was going a bit nuts. Mm -hmm. Atari Hot Plus. On Ready. a regular Atari. Sometimes it even, it does that even though you have a steady 262 lines. Mm. Let's do normal. Like you can see it's just Woo! going Woo! nuts. Yeah. You don't have to look. But it's going nuts. It going kind crazy. of... It's jumping. Jumping a lot. So let's take a look at it on the emulator. It was quite good. I'm going to grab an, uh, a pixel. I'll be right back. A pixel? Okay. Yes. And we will see about the line count on trench. And it should be... He says it's steady. I just want to investigate that. Some people don't notice. Okay, let's see. Stella. Okay. Normal. Yeah, see, it does say 262 lines. Very rarely I encounter where it says 262 and it holds it steady, but on a real Atari, it's all jumpy and glitchy. Um, so, not sure why it's all jumpy and glitchy. What would make it jump, but not change the line count? I'm sure there's somebody out there that would know that. To answer his question, when, uh, oh, is he pliable? A little bit. No, he's struggling. He's struggling. But anyway, there you go. It is not jumpy. It's not too, it stays steady on 262 lines. Mm. Um, so that, that is a bit of a mystery. Very rarely does that ever happen. Points. Ah, uh, not points. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to move on to the last game of the day, which is going to be hard as hell. This is oh, Grand Prix? there we go. Okay. Yeah, Grand Prix. Come say hi just for a moment. Just for a moment. Oh, it's okay. Mm. Atari Hot Plus. Ready. Okay. Atari. And then... Grand Prix. He's very mad at me right now. <laughs> <laughs> mad, but not moving. No, mad and sleepy. So this game nice. is very nice looking. It's made by the programmer that did Pitfall, mm. David Crane. Nice. Um, so he knows how to program really well. Because mm -hmm. he did Pitfall too as well. Probably one of the most advanced games in the original run for the 2600 because it had an extra chip in it and did a whole bunch of fancy things. This is from, guess what year? 82. 83. Ooh, good call. Yeah. So we have to get, uh, there's four different courses in this. We have to get 35 seconds, mm. beat or tie 35 seconds to get the patch in this. Mm. Um, so let me read a little bit about this before we start, about the world record and all that kind of stuff. Grand Prix is a Formula One Grand Prix motor racing themed video game. It was designed and programmed by David Crane. Oh, so cute. <laughs> for the Atari 2600 and published by Activision in 1982. Uh, mm. Do I have the date wrong? I was Sometimes right. all I was over right. the place with the 2600 games. Oh, they, they they're have, all over as far as the dates? Yeah, so 82, that was from Wikipedia. And it's got a source, so let's go for 82 then. Mm -hmm. Um... So the world record on this game is 29 seconds, 29.59 seconds. Hmm. And you have to get 35 seconds. <laughs> it's one of those games where it's either you do it or you don't do it, really. Mm. Um, the next world record is 29.61. Wow. Um, and since... So say that again, 29. 29.59 is a world record. Okay. 
And what? Do and you need? pretty much, if you don't crash, you get twenty nine point six one. Six one. I don't know how this person gets twenty nine point five nine. It's the only person that has a score like that. Mm. So something about their game playing or something uh, gets them that score. We're gonna take. We're gonna watch the world record right now. Mm. And so we see what kind of pain we're in for. Uh, it's going to be like the other game, I think I said Barnstorming, where it's mm. a lot of memorization and quick moves at the right time, mm. dodging in between things. Gotcha. Um, so this is the world record run. I think he crashes and starts over. Mm. Where is it? Yeah. Okay, so this is the world record run. Um, why do you eat random things on the floor? You're very right. He's cat. like, well, it's your fault for not vacuuming. Okay. It's a timer at the bottom of the screen. He's on race number one. So he's staying in the bottom. <laughs> then, at the right time. Left, up. Whoa, oh, please. Wow. Oh, got it there. <laughs> so that's, that's the game. Wow. <laughs> Crazy. So that's the world record. Um, Come on. Why? And then when I try and pick him up, he's like, nope, I'm digging in. Oh my god. Ah, he's attacking me. <laughs> ah. <laughs> he's attacking me. Come on. Off you get. <laughs> he's mad. He's mad. <laughs> he's like, you won't let me do what I want. Well, there he's proven that he, he's got it all hooked up properly. Okay, so we're going to try and do that. It's going to be kind of a memorization. Yeah. Unfortunately, uh, we can't start the race with the button. Okay. Well, you do start the race with the button. You just can't reset with the button. Mm. Oh my god, can you deal with the cat and just kick him out? Just let him get it out of its... Come up here. So you have to go up in between there. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay, so now it's ruined. Well, so you, you have might to reset. As well. No, because now the pattern is totally um, wrong. Guess we'll just sit down here. Mm. Pixel, come here. come here, Pixel. Are you gonna hang out there? Huh? You gonna hang out there? He's rubbing. I know. He's, he's like, terrible. oh, you're trying to get a patch. <laughs> is it time for rubbing your 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 fingers while you're trying to play? Oh, he's he's like on the joystick. <laughs> like, look at this. Oh, Pixel's like you disturb my sleep. <laughs> no. Now I'm getting my own back. Passive aggressive. Oh, passive aggressive. All over the joystick. Hi. Oh, he's coming back. He's all over the joystick. <laughs> <laughs> I've got you. I've got you. So after the blue car, okay, okay. Metal Lunar says, "Ha ha." <laughs> <laughs> oh, but the cat. Yeah. <laughs> That's how he gets. Oh, another car. No, up. cars. Yeah. Ugh. You have to go in between, don't you? Yeah, you have to go up, up there, and then it's all screwed up. So I don't want to memorize the okay. bad, the bad moves. Blue car, go almost to the top. Yeah, you've then through between. there. Yeah, okay. Ready? Yep, getting there. Metal Lunar says, I did this level perfect many, many years yeah. ago. I used to be able to do this. Wow. At least the cars are consistently colored. Mm -hmm. That's going to help a lot. Mm. Nope, too early. One of those streams. 
Yeah. That's gonna be fun. That's why I leave these patch challenges to last, because... Oh, getting better. Reset, please. I'm a Twitch noob. Thought I could subscribe for five months in advance, but only subscribe for one? I think, what? You, I think no. it said you did. It did. It yeah. did. It said paid for five in advance. So you probably get... Like it'll that. probably register each month oh, as it goes almost. by. Yeah, it'll just keep doing it. Hi. He's coming. Oh. He's on my joystick again. He's your good luck charm. <laughs> Why does he do this now? I don't know. It's not good luck charm. He's good luck cat. It's distracting cat. I think I have to be like right you up there. You have to there. be really precise. Hey, you gonna help? Yeah, he's gonna <laughs> help. Imagine doing the two minute one. Memorizing the two minute version of this. Oh my god, now what do I do? Go down. <laughs> Try again? Yeah, but I gotta figure out the next move. I don't know what it is. I think I have to thread the needle to the bottom again. Yeah, you have to go back down, I think. To right the middle. To the bottom? No, I think. To the middle? Yeah, just just one above the bottom. I thought that's what he did. I can't okay. remember now. One above the bottom. Yeah, yeah. Like the lane above the bottom. You did it once. <laughs> <laughs> once, yeah. <laughs> You're able to do it once. May have to write down how to do this. As soon as you crash, everything's out of whack. Yeah. All the cars slow down. Yeah. You're going at a slow speed again. May have to reference the, uh, the perfect video many times. I don't think it's one where if you move like this, it slows things down like skiing. Mm. It's irrelevant. Oh, don't go down yet. Yeah, you have to go past After them the two and yellow. then down. I thought, yeah, to there. Then maybe that. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Second to bottom. Yeah. Yeah. But after the the two green cars. Yellowy green. Yeah, yellowy. Yeah, yellow. We'll call them yellow. That's Got the, the colors blue. pretty the good blue. now. Blue. Then you go up. Green. Blue. Blue. Arg. Pixel is so mad he won't look in our direction. Won't even dignify you with a look. I know. He's like, I'm just gonna look in the corner. <laughs> look at nothing. Yeah. Stare into the. Stare at the ghosts in the corner of the room. Nice. stretch every time I have to hit the yeah the reset. oh there you go oh, make it into an smart. exercise yeah and stretch and reset stretch and reset, <laughs> and, reset and stretch oh. oh I can't quite make that oh that's sore just have to stretch more I know I'm very sore I worked out yesterday how did you ever do this metal lunar <laughs> Every time I play, start a game like this, it's always like, oh my god, this is crazy. But then it gets easier and easier. Not so far, though. <laughs> so tight. tight. Yeah. What's the name that, uh, oh, it was Trench. Uh, it's very cool. We played it last show. Mm -hmm. um, it's a top-down 3D perspective, parallax scrolling, like six... <laughs> six level, or well, three, no, four? Four in the top, four in the bottom, parallax scrolling game. Um, 
plus also depth that you have to be at the right depth or you mm -hmm. hit the wall. It is really neat. Um, it doesn't play on LCDs. It plays on CRTs, I think, fine, maybe? It should. Usually things that play fine on Stella play Are fine, fine on CRTs. CRTs. It's a very tight little gap you have I've to I've made through. it once, haven't I? Yeah. Did you slow down a bit before you went through? Or? No. My lunar says you're close. Close to the first. The first threading. I think there's three. If I remember correctly. Yeah. Not like that. At least you don't crash on the sides. On the bushes and stuff. Yeah. But you have to get 6-1? Six 6-1. One. Six one. Hmm? You six have one. to basically get the world record? No. No? No. I have to get 35 seconds. Oh, 35. But the world record is 29 seconds. Oh, I thought you had to get like 29.61 or something. Oh, I'm no. like, what? You're going to be here all night? <laughs> no. 35, eh? Ooh. Oh, I slowed down. down. Oh, and then, and then down. you have to, you have okay. to thread. That was pretty good. You, yep. you touched it, but that was okay. You still got through. It didn't completely slow you down. I, I pressed back. I think maybe I was panicking. To, maybe you need to a little. No, 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 no. you don't think so. I think so. it's full throttle. Full throttle the whole way, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. You may want to do it just to get through. Played Kev says he played this one a bunch back in the day. Yeah. This one is common incredibly game. Yeah. impressive graphics because of how big the cars are. Yeah. And there's a bunch of tricks that he used. Oh, oh wait till sorry. after, right? Yeah, yeah, wait till after those. You want to get past them and then go down. Okay, wait. No, it's totally weird. And then down. And, yeah. After that. Okay. I think it's still screwed Do you want to see no, it to no, the end? No, no, I don't. No? I don't. Where you hit all the bumps? No? No, I don't. All it's. Right. It, I don't want to memorize um, you, you don't incorrect. even want to see it? No. I think it's wrong, so I don't. No. If you go full bore and you don't hit anything, that's the best that can be done. Yeah, yeah. that's what I thought. I love, it's very dramatic. It is. The screen goes red. Lots of crazy noises. Yep. And then wait for the yellow and thread it. Okay. Getting better. <laughs> Slightly better. It's one of the first games I got on Atari. Mm -hmm. ah. Ah. I feel like you slowed slightly and that made it easier to go through. Uh, if I slowed slightly? You did. Slow slightly and then you got through quite easily. I, I didn't. No, you I did. didn't touch it. Yeah. But you did slow. I thought you it slowed down. It looked like I slowed? Yeah, it did. Oh, no, I didn't. Oops. Everything's relative. Yeah. Like, some cars just go whipping by you on the screen. No, but it, it looks like the background slowed that, that from, but maybe, maybe you didn't. It just looked like you slowed down before you threaded between them, so. It's possible that moving does slow you down. Yeah. Oops, almost. I was thinking about it. <laughs> I have early memories of one demon attack. Oh, that's a good one. I love demon attack. Hey, Arena Foot. Mega Mania, of course, combat. Yeah. Hey everyone at Combat. Hey, Arena Foot joined us? Yeah. Welcome, Arena Foot. You said, what did I miss? A uh, fair number of games. <laughs> Almost everything. But that's ah. okay. James is trying to figure out uh, Grand Prix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Missed all of uh, Brooks' games. Mm -hmm. They're all really good. Mm -hmm. Really well they made. really good. Um, what was your favorite one? Oh, I like the um, the number making game. I'll say making because it's not really a counting game, not the binary one. <laughs> no. Because I don't really know that. So. The uh, puzzle. 
the puzzle number game. The number game. You make the so numbers. Called digits. Digits. Yeah. Digits. That, that good. one's really. I fun. is really good too. I is. Yeah, like, that's it's, challenging. It's, it's challenging, but it's it's neat, and you're kind of you have two elements of it to worry about at the same time. Yeah. I like that. And it, and you there's this feeling of tension and franticness because the eyeball opens up. Oh my up. god! Yeah. And you have to. I like that. That's memorize that's really the neat. speed of the eyeball versus the speed of you. Yeah. And depending on what track you're in. Yeah. It's only three threads. I've almost got to the second one. <laughs> oh, oh, come you on. Got too fast. Gotta get past him. I was reading an article today I had to get everything out for the Black Friday sale event is what Black Friday's tomorrow what's going on <laughs> is it Thanksgiving this weekend I have no idea oh. we're Canadian yeah <laughs> Help. blasting something by Iron Maiden used to make the game easier for me yeah I can see that <laughs> thank you <laughs> <laughs> I used to get cocky and go between cars when I didn't have to. Yeah, I guess ah, if you're that you good. That's really good, yeah. Yeah, just zip, zip, zip. If you know the pattern. Uh, oh, it's an Atari cat. We have both cats in the house. Aww. Both cats on the couch. Yeah, now that. That's not going to last long. That's unusual. Pixel's going to take off. Oh, no. No, Pixel's, Pixel's pretending to sleep. It's <laughs> not going to take off. Oh, too high. Oh, they're both settling. I wow, know. that so is what happens, but, but rare. But whenever someone leaves a couch, they immediately sit where you left. So That's true. Look at these two. Oh, oh super rare what you're uh, yeah. experiencing here. There's a rare cat event going on okay, here. Okay, reset. It's because oh I have God. to sit on the floor. Relegated to the floor again. Yep. Oh, oh don't disturb the cats. I'm not disturbing. You're disturbing the cats. <laughs> Look at that little lump of a fluffy cat over there. Oh my god. Cats have room on the couch because Tanya is in the cat cam. <laughs> it's They've right. switched spots. They switch spots. I've taken I, over the cat cam. I read an article today that had the phrase toe the line. Yeah. Now I had always thought it was T O W. Me too. Tow it, as like in you're, towing the you're line. Pulling, like a fishing line, towing yeah, the fishing line. Yeah, or you're pulling something with rope and you're towing it in, right? It's not that. It's T-O-E. Hmm? You're towing the line as if you're starting a race. You're putting your toe on the line. Hmm. That's not really how it's being used anymore, hmm. but it's not T-O-W, it's T-O-E. And I was like, So what the towing hell? the line is I, being I, ready to start. Yeah. Not... Not being part Not of pulling, something and pulling, pulling your own weight pulling and things along. Isn't that funny? Come on! Yeah, I always thought tow tow the line because your toe is at the line, but I always thought it was towing like a fishing line, like no, towing metal the line. or seven. You're you're right. You're correct. Yeah. Help reset. Thanksgiving is eleven nineteen. Oh, it's so, not even... Not this weekend. That's craziness. It's Black Friday month. Better have a Every Friday. reset switch on hand. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's going to get worn down, all shiny or yeah. dull, depending on We've been trying to teach the acid. cats to smack it, but that hasn't worked out yet. <sighs> Pixel's only attempted to reset it once. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't make it, and it's good, because I think we were playing a game where I did not want him to no, reset. No, no. He's funny, that cat. He did smack it with his paw, which was quite funny. The amount of room in between is nothing. I think you have to slow down a touch. No. Well, I could. You could because you that's make not... the 35. <laughs> I could. Like you're not making the world record here. Just slow slightly so Why that not? one gets a little... There you... Yeah. Okay. It makes I... it a little bit easier to get through for the time being. Fine. Just so you can get the pattern. Fine. I'll do it. <laughs> Listen to your wife. <laughs> okay. This time. 
Oh, went too early because I'm expecting a little bit more the fast. Yeah. yeah. These cats. Oh my goodness. Let me start a stream. Is it was temporary. Yeah, whatever weirdness was going on there. I don't know what you can do about that. I like, can't even complain about that. Well, yeah, you can, but. And then you go. Oh, like two hours ago, it slowed down for about ten minutes. Have you ever They'll thought like, of just okay. recording it and just saying, "This is what it's saying. What's wrong with you?" Mm. Uh, it doesn't mean anything because if it's care. if it's a blip, they don't care. They yeah. can't track down a blip. Like you try and diagnose like anybody in any kind of profession. Trying to diagnose something that's not actively happening right now. I know, it's impossible. Is impossible. Like you can't oh my finger. Holding down the button. I can I can play for a while if you're getting tired. Okay. Oh my god. Reset, please. Any any time I crash. Just right away. I'm just I'm just not paying attention. It must be the joystick. <laughs> I don't like CX forties. They're so hard to move they're so it's stiff i find them so stiff i mean i at least they seem stiff see it's all crazy it's not right what is those two yellow cars were not side by side so i don't want to do it at not top speed you could have gone past them though. but then i'm memorizing things that are wrong oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> a rally game all over all again, over again. <laughs> So I leave it last for yeah. the people who really, really want to watch me do terrible things. <laughs> I mean, I got all the other games that are like this. I got all the patches for those. So I have confidence, as low as it is, that I can do this eventually eventually so we were playing rally racer last episode mm -hmm. if you guys didn't see the end um and i got a bonus three times in a row yeah what happened is that after i got the patch tanya played for a bit yes and we wanted to see if you could get it or get what score you could get. And I was not doing well because I have not been playing it a lot lately. <laughs> a lot so of crashing. It was a lot of crashing. I couldn't quite get into a groove, which when we played it one time before, I could. Yeah. But I was not doing that well. But for some reason, three times in a row at mile 55, Please. I scored a bonus. It 30 went to meters. This, it went to this blue screen all of a sudden. It was or black. This black screen. And it had, it's like, you found the DeLorean. Yeah. <laughs> You get a bonus of 30 kilometers, and it go, went from 55 to 85, which yeah. is a... A pretty big jump. Oh, my God. That I went was too good. Yeah. Yep. Careful. At this point, that Atari 2600 is worth almost $1,000. <laughs> I, I promise I won't smack it on the ground. Shipping and repairs. I'm sure. I'm sure. Extra hardware that's been uh, put added. on it, into it. Yep. The two RGB mods. Mm -hmm. Is this one paddle compatible? No, it is not. It's the joystick. Joystick, you move at a constant velocity up and down the screen. Um, okay, so it went to the screen and it did it three times in a row. Yeah, <laughs> three games in a row. I got and this we're bonus. Like, we're like, what are you doing? Are you hitting the, <laughs> that white car? No idea. Are you hitting the the and of course james could not reproduce oh, I wasn't it even thinking okay yeah james could not reproduce it which oh, you're was skip, you're skipping over stuff oh no 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 go ahead, keep going keep going um so tanya did three times in a row and then did you hand it to me or did you try again no uh you you i handed it to you yeah and then i tried and it was could like do it. Mm, i don't know Ugh. and i couldn't do it I tried crashing into things. I tried hitting the white car. I tried not hitting the white car. I tried starting and stopping at 55. Um, over and over and over and over and over again. I could not figure it out. So and then I gave it back to Tanya. Mm. And it wasn't happening anymore. Right? 
You didn't get it again. I didn't get it a second time because then we were really conscious of it at that yeah, point. Yeah, we're thinking too. about it, right? And and then I it, I couldn't do it again. I was like, this is really weird. I could I did it three times in a row and then I couldn't figure it out. So, but it was very funny and it was even funnier that James couldn't do it. So, um, but we played that level multiple times. You played that level multiple oh, times and never gotten it. Dozens, dozens of and, times. And we, we were kind of stymied as to why my terrible playing got me this <laughs> thirty-meter bonus at the fifty-five. Three times in part. a row. Yeah. So, I tried and tried and tried and could not figure it out. So I asked the developer, and he's like, "I'm not going to tell you." <laughs> I'm like, "What? What?" Because he doesn't want to. He wants people to figure it Good out. Good on you, on, Leandro. On, yeah. <laughs> Don't give him all your secrets. <laughs> oh. And then I went back to the game and tried. And tried and tried. And then I did figure it out. Yeah. And then I told him, I figured it out. I finally figured it out. He's like, Don't tell anyone. <laughs> so so I can't tell, you can't tell you how I figured it out. Um, but. Reflecting upon that, you can do it every time. Like, I could have done mm. it on my patch score. Mm. Easily. Easily, easily, easily. Right? Mm -hmm. And my patch score was 141. Oops, I didn't start right away. Reset, please. You don't want to try the pattern? No, I, I didn't start properly. Okay. Um, so I got 141 for the patch. Which you need 140, right? Mm. If I applied that 30 bonus, you would have gotten. I would have tied for the best patch score. Mm. And Leandro said, "Yeah, you uh, you beat my score mm. <laughs> if you got that 30. If you got the 30. and I could definitely do that that uh, 141 could again that. Yeah. or better. Well, you can always try it again. Uh, but I, I'm done. I mean. <laughs> uh... I'm done. Your Grand Prix is not going so well, so... <laughs> oh, I'm not going to go back to a game I, <laughs> I can play just because I can't play this one. Well, sometimes that feels good. Yeah, the white part card just, like, disappeared before 55. Yeah. Like, just takes off. It's like, ah, oh, I'm out of here. Like, just poof. <sighs> um, but I don't, it has nothing It has nothing to do with the, the bonus 30, mm -hmm. the white card. Because it's always gone at 55. Like it, it's always gone at 55. Ah! Uh! Can I play for a bit? Oh, yes. Oh, well, could have reset. finished out this game. <laughs> it's your turn to reset. Oh, okay. I'm not kicking the cats off. Oh, you're just taking my spot. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I'm taking a turn spot then. Oh. It's nice and warm. Never play this game. Can you hit the... Have you tried not hitting the other card? <laughs> Kev, that's a great suggestion. I haven't actually not tried hitting the... I hit the cards every time. James Kim. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I was doing when, when I had to do that last time. Were you? You're yeah. so nice. Pixel. Oh, try again. Do it? Yeah, but I slow down. I'm, oh. I'm, I'm, I'm not necessarily trying to keep it at full speed going through that. So. The difference between the world record and getting the patch is five seconds. Yes, I realize that. This tactic of slowing down is not beneficial. Yeah, but I'm not. I'm. I'm just trying to figure out, get to the end of the game. I'm not necessarily trying to. But the game is different if you don't go at full speed. Oh, I know, I know. So you have to be consistently, you have to be consistent in your slowness. Okay, hit the reset. You have to be consistent in no, your slowness. No, I know, I know, I know. Um, if you're going to be slow, which is almost impossible. Mm -hmm. Because you're like, well, when did I break? How long did I break for? Yeah, I know. The DeLorean uh, didn't reach the bottom of the screen at that mile. Ugh. Did you make it through? Yeah. Oh my god. Good job. <laughs> At full speed? No. I just I just ease off ever <laughs> so slightly. Hi. Hi, Stinky. 
Oh, he's very, very sweet. Yeah, he is. It's actually been very nice today. Oh. oh. You have to get right into. Oh, I I want to play for a little bit actually. Oh. I don't want you to hit it right away. Okay. I need to practice just Tell me moving. Set. Yeah. But there's uh, bonuses on every third leg. Mm, you must have to go down. Every third leg of every race. And each of them is a different car. And each of them, you have to do something huh? different. Or it's, actu it's actually a, a different spot in the race. That's actually really good. 39. I just wanted to see it to the end because you keep stopping it, but no <laughs> one actually goes to the end. So it wasn't terrible, but I did hit a bunch of cars. 39 is better than I've ever done. Well, it's it. you've already got the first part. You just have to keep playing a little bit. I don't know. I think so. Yeah. I think if I thread that first one and then just kind of... No. no, okay, reset that. I know I can get through that first one with just, just easing off ever so slightly. Crossbow says I was never very good at this game either. Yeah. It's kind of, you're it's, either good at it or you're not. Mm. And there's no wiggle room here. Oh. Ugh. You always moving up too far. Okay, reset. Do you want me to reset on every crash? No, no, I just want to get through that set of cars though. Just I'm, so I know where to reset and you don't have I'll to tell me. I'll say reset. I'll okay. say reset. That's fine. If I get through those cars, I want to keep playing. Oh, okay. I just, I wanted to kind of see what was going on there. Ugh. No, no, reset. It's Cats like, are giving up each other a bath now. Oh. Then again, I've never beat the first pitfall either. I have never, I've never gotten a perfect score in pitfall. I mm. did get the patch for pitfall, which is not too hard. You just don't have to do too much. Uh, I think you have to ease up on that. Uh, reset, please. No, you don't. It makes it it's, easier. It's, it's a billion times easier if you just put take your hand off and, and go through. I'm not saying you can't do it full throttle. Yeah. But it does make it a lot easier to get through. Yeah. But then you don't know what's going on anymore. Oh, oh those, mm. those line up. Those line up. Yeah, they do. Okay. You just ease up ever so slightly. Okay. It makes it easier to get through. Hmm. I mean, you, you might make the 35 just easing up and if you do the rest perfectly. Oh, uh, maybe. I'll try that. I'll try that. When do you ease up? Like well before? Right here. Okay, then you keep going. There's a spot. Ah, I think I'm. It's like totally messed up now, but that's okay. There's a spot where the cars go nuts and they uh, run off the screen. Yeah. Now I've got. Now I've hit too many things. I'm really slow now. You have to get some speed back up. It takes a long time to get your speed back up on this it game. Does. Oh, just I'm just ever so slightly off. Yeah, go ahead. I did. It, yeah, Metal Owner Seven says it can be done without easing up. Yeah, I, I'm not saying it can't. Yeah. I, it does make it a lot easier to get through that point. I only need one more homebrew patch. You know which one it is? No. Oh. It's that space shooter one. It was really hard. Oh, I don't know how you get through. Like okay, this is all messed up, but but there is like a grouping of like four cars all at once. Ah, forty. Forty. It's My turn again. Yeah, you want to play again? Yeah. Space 39. shooter, Star Master. No, uh, homebrew. Um, homebrew game. What's it called? Do you remember that one where there's like the TARDIS in space? Mm. And those ships that go by? Yes. It is Starfire mm. Elite Squadron Patch. Is it reset? It is. Yeah. Here. They're cat, being cat. they're being different today. They're being nice. Hello. <laughs> sit back a bit though. Sorry. 
you don't, don't see. Don't get on the cord. Top of my head. Ah, I did go through it because I used up. Yeah, just try it. I mean, easing up a little bit if you keep if you keep your momentum doesn't really reset things too much. Yeah. Like I shift up, I ease up there, and then I move up. Yeah. Because they they split apart a little bit better. They do. Starfire, yeah, it's a very old homebrew. Yeah. By by Zeip, I believe the mm. collective. You gonna be Stop trouble? Eating stuff off the floor, kid. Ah! Uh, need a reset button. <laughs> On the cord again. Can you move it over to me? Yeah, I don't know. Threading through that is also challenging. Yeah. Do you want me to reset? Yep. You're moving up too quickly. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> if I hit the front car, I'm moving up too quickly. If I hit the car ahead, I'm moving up too slowly. Reset. Great reset. I hope you don't have that t-shirt on today. No. I could wear it every day I do a, <laughs> a patch a challenge. Patch challenge. <laughs> Cause it, well, for oh, for short games like this. 30 second games. That's the rage reset. He stayed with us this whole time. Pixels on the floor. Since you brought him down? Yeah. Yeah, he's hiding, but he's there. Yes, I'm moving up too quickly. Yes, yes. That's why I slow down. <laughs> oh, I don't think I'm going to finish this game. You should try at least to finish it and get a score. <laughs> uh... Hi. <laughs> <laughs> There's anger. Fluffy cat anger. I need to wire a reset button. That is the height of lazy Atari 2600 playing. See, I don't keep know going, what happens. Keep going, keep going, keep going. I know, I am, but I don't know what happens after this. Well, you That's gotta the problem. keep going. You hit, start, start hitting rocks. No, uh, they're oil patches. Oil? Is that what they are? <sighs> keep going. Just I'm get way... to the end. I know you've slowed down too much, but way too slow what are you going to do? Look at that, like nightmarish. How did you get 40? Look at that. See yeah. the cars take off? I'm just much better at this game than you are. Yep, you are. <laughs> so far. <laughs> yes, my thumb is getting sore. That is a good observation. Because <laughs> you just have to hold it down. Yeah. And you're like being intense on the game, so you're holding it down way harder than you need to. Yeah. Good night, Shoki. Night, Shoki. Thanks for hanging out. Yes. You have to memorize because there's cars in lanes. Yeah. That just go into the back end of your car. You have no time to react whatsoever. Yeah. And you can't memorize unless you're going full throttle. Right? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna keep keep playing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, it, it it totally yeah. Those two. You. Yeah. yeah. Yes, as you speed up, you don't have reaction time. You gotta memorize yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, bye, flackets. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah. Have a good night. Now, does it keep the same? The blue, and then those two green guys, and then you can go down, and then... Oh, it does keep the same. More then it's up or less. Right away. Yeah. And then these blue guys are all over the place now, but that's... World record holders. Um, there you go, 43. Blarg, 43.59. Wait, wait, wait. 
Oh, it's okay. Sorry. Because that's going to be my submission score for sure. <laughs> 43 59? <laughs> yes. Your submission? Is there a... Well, the thing I write down is my best for the... Okay, but show. you have to put my best because it was 39. Can you type that into the chat or 39 something? 51? Yours? 43 59, please. J. So I can at least see it in the chat as it goes by. Thank you, Metal Lunar. Yeah. I don't know what Tanya did. Do you remember? I got 39 something. <laughs> 39 XX? Yeah. Put 39 uh, XX. 39 XX. Well, it is. We'll have to just look look at the time because it just paused on. Oh, 39.50. Thank you, Metal Lunar. It was around that. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you were taking a drink. Yeah, I was. Been dealing with migraines on and off this week, so and and the after effects, so it hasn't been a very fun week for me. After shocks, yeah. Ah, you know, Ooh. no, not race two, no, not race two. Sorry about that. Race two is a minute long, <laughs> then a minute and a half, and then two minutes. Oh, really? It's not better, it's worse. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, not a great week. Hoping next week will be better. Uh, it has to be. Keep going. It has to be better than this week. Yeah, that was not good. So it does keep the pattern. At, when you're at full speed, it keeps the pattern. It's like Canadian Jesus. sympathy pains for uh, U.S. Uh, no politics! <laughs> U.S. elections. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, there isn't a way to memorize those other tracks. Forget that. Yeah. <laughs> but verify that with stream playback. Oh, yeah, okay. we'll figure that out. I think it was around. It was might have been thirty thirty nine fifty one. I want to say. I want to say. I bet I don't. We'll we'll we'll, we'll see. Huh. That wasn't bad. Yeah, I didn't slow down a hundred percent. That's what kills. There, me. I did. Yeah. A full crash is is just. Well, not... crashing cr like hitting slightly is. Ah. More... Those things, I was going to go between those cars, and then they oil slick. They just come slick. up so fast, the oil slicks. Yeah, they go as fast as the, like, the side brush, they don't. They right? almost don't matter towards the end. You, you, well, they you, don't, because there's no cars. You have to, you the have first to, ones are there. You have to care about the cars. First oil slicks come with cars. Yeah. And the world record, I see him hitting oil slicks. Yeah, so I do too. So it, it doesn't, doesn't affect... actually affect your speed. No. I think you do have to get through that first bit, really. Thread that first needle and then... So you have to go down. He says he remembers that oil slick between the two cars. So you have to go down to the bottom mm. to avoid those two cars, not the top. Keep, no. No, 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 no. Dope, 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 dope. I think I can still keep the down and then, then up. up immediately up immediately okay. up keep going or no uh, yeah just let me go for a bit here and then to the bottom well no, I don't know now. it's a little out of pattern now but that's okay yeah that's another that's another one you have to do right mm. watch this car watch him I'm gonna slow down you <laughs> he doesn't like being at the end you know why because those flags are the same thing as him. Oh, that's funny. Same uh, player character. Mm. So he's like, I, I can't be there with the flags. <laughs> I'm just here to hit you. <laughs> yeah. Not to finish the race. <laughs> yeah. Some clever programming. The no flicker rule mm. with Activision. Or unspoken rule, anyway. Miss Command says, I get migraines too sometimes. Ibuprofen helps. Yes, agree. Okay, reset. Reset. Yeah. Any kind of strong painkiller. Yours, a red fan, says uptime. Uptime. We don't have a bot. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't think that you're going to get a response with uptime. Ah! Keep going? No? Uh, no, it's out of s Yeah, it's out of sync. If you kind of glance those, it's, you're it's okay. in sync still. Yeah. But if you smack it, yeah, it's not gonna work. Oh, the fluffy cat. 
It's all coming back now watching you play. Because yeah. I'm getting a little bit kind of further. Mm, this might work. Mm. Then right to the top. Oh no, not right to the top. Up and then back down mm. immediately. Up and down. Up and down. And then to the top? No. I don't know. It's right Later on. Yeah. Thirty-seven seventy. You beat my score. Thirty-seven seventy. That's pretty good. It's two point seven seconds off. What I need. That was better. That was good. Yep. You, you hit a few things along the way. Uh, yep. There is room for improvement. Maybe I will get it. <laughs> I doubt it. Still, <laughs> I really doubt it. I need to get that first one. The second set of cars is f actually fine. Ah! Early! Always early! Cats? Cats? There's one cat on the cam. Yeah, the other on one's the main just cam. Off, off the cat cam. He's not, he's not visible right now. Hi! Why are you staring into a corner? It's really funny that the first whole first half of the race you can do it by just going to the bottom. Well, you have to p pick up speed, and I, I bet that's on purpose, because you want to yeah. pick up enough speed. Like you can get to 15 seconds yeah. without really doing much. Oh, that's fine. That's fine still. I and think it's still fine. the yellows, and then you go down, then down, and then up, then down. Oh, oh stay down. Stay down. Okay, reset. Oh, uh, maybe not. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. I don't know. No, it's not it's better. still pretty good, but... Yeah, I seem to remember getting past that first needle thread, it's easier after that. Yeah. So far it is. I don't know what's past that second thing. Because I keep hitting things. <laughs> Close. I, I keep doing that every time, which is fine. Ah, reset. It is satisfying smacking those cars after it you is. crash. It is. <laughs> like, like flashes of red. Oh. Reset. Yep, anytime I do a bad crash. Okay. Rather than just a little, like, mm -hmm. a little like, nudge. Yeah. See, that's fine. Not great, but fine. <laughs> ah! Is it fun yet? Are we having fun yet? <laughs> no. Uh, we're waiting on our closet to be installed. We have two more weeks to go. Mm. And then everything's done. Finally. And no more work people in our house. Wow. Finally. I'm just excited about having somewhere to put things. Because right now, it's all like in bins. <laughs> So many so, bins. So many bins. Not that we're not used to bins, but... Uh, well, it's just... Looking, thanks. Yeah, you know, That right. was great. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah, we're done. <laughs> we I remember uh, my father saying nice. how cool it was the screen goes red when you hit something. Yeah, it's really cool. still cool. Um, yeah, bins piled to the ceiling, but the bins seem to be manageable. Like, they don't seem to be uh, taking up more space than... Than... than yeah. Than what the closet will take up. Yeah, well, well So there's yeah. hope. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think we're... Oh, I forgot what I was doing. You're chatting. Um, yeah, so we're looking forward to that. But it's already better. Like it is already better. Things are yeah. in places that are much yeah. better than before. Yeah. Because our bedroom used to be stacked to the ceiling. Literally stacked to the ceiling with bins and cupboards. Cupboards on the walls. Yeah. Cupboards on the floor. Yeah. It was, bins it was, everywhere. Yeah. Bins under the bed. Still bins under the bed. That's because you can't see them. Yeah. Now it's a little bit more manageable. Yeah, it looks like a bedroom. Yeah, and that was that was my purpose. 
Oh, why? 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 What are you doing? Keep going. No, no, I stopped. Anytime you like, I stop, stop. I know, I know. It's pointless. But I did it. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, what were you saying? Nothing, Before I yelled, nothing. yelled like no, a madman. No, just talking about closets. And it's not like our space is supremely large to start with, so. No. Um, it's a lot of video games to store. <laughs> ah. In a very small space. Yeah. Thousands of video games. Well, a thousand. <laughs> it's just about, just over a thousand, I think. And consoles. Consoles take up a lot of room. Not as much as the games, I think, though. Oh. Why, Did blue you, like, car? you, bounce backwards? Yeah, you start bouncing all over the place. And as soon as the slicks, the oil slicks come in, then you move up. One. So far. 3748. Oh, it's better. 3748. Yeah. Getting there. And I've got some more hints. That's close enough. <laughs> it's the uh, European way. Quebecois. You're pushing down on the cord when you lean. Careful. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. The Quebecois. Quebecois. The French way is the French way comma. with the commas, yeah. Other uh, European countries do that too? I don't know. The British don't, do they? Mm, I don't think so. It was very confusing growing up because in English, you know, the, the you put the comma for the thousands. And then when you're taking French, it's like, no, 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 the comma is the decimal point. <laughs> the comma is the decimal point. And it's point. like, that's not confusing at all when you're like... Yeah, learning. Like seven. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah. Okay, again. <sighs> Get in there. It's all out of whack. I don't know what's after that. It's so far it's pretty random. There, now you have to go up. Mm. That's the other one I do need to deal with later when I'm actually playing properly. Okay, reset. Mm, you're doing pretty well. Yeah. It's like dodging things well, but you slow it completely. Yeah, the dodging's getting better. And being able to judge where my tires are. It's very wide tires. <sighs> no, it's bad. It's bad. Reset. Smack, smack. Hi, black and white Hi, how are you? Are you ignoring me? <laughs> He's actively ignoring you. I know he is. He's like turning his face away from me. So that one's fine because I hit the second car and I kept my speed. And uh, that wasn't. I panicked. <laughs> Hi. Yeah. Doing a hard cutoff at 9 p.m. Does that sound good? 18 more minutes. Getting through that, I don't know. It's I, actually do you have easy. To slow? I just have no. It's it's a lot of there's. Oh. What are you doing? Reset, please. What are you doing? I'm just waiting for you to reset. <laughs> Any bad crash? It just wasn't reset. a bad crash it until was. you hit it again. No, it was bad. I slowed right down. <sighs> <Let's see. clears throat> Not going to survive this, but... And then you go up when that green car passes you. Yeah. I think. Isn't it? No. I don't know. Oh, you're right by the end. 37.5. Almost. Close <laughs> to your last score. Yeah. Two seconds. Yeah. If you can manage to not hit 
that wave of cars, then you'll get it. Like, yeah, that that there's like the four cars in a row, and it's like, no, not that. That one. <laughs> that one. This game was made before corners were invented. <laughs> true fact. True fact. Yeah. Very, very true, actually. There's not a lot of corners in 2600 games. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of straight lines. It is like a drag race, so... Ugh. Keep going. Ugh. Oh, you have to go it. down and up, right? Yeah. I forgot. Four. Yep. Bad crash. Bad crash. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you made me jump. Ah. Wasn't expecting you to do that. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? A cat? Hurry up! Slowest acceleration of any sports car I've ever seen. Okay, reset. And I also love how the cars around you decelerate to your speed. <laughs> they are... It seems like it. They are purely there to mess with you. Yeah. They're not there to race. No. They're, they're there, just to there to stop you to from racing. To you. They're terrible. They don't even want to finish the race. Yeah, you assume they all have the same engine, so... <laughs> They could be going as fast as you. They also slow down when you slow down. Mm. Like purposefully to get in your way. They're, 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 they're evil. Evil, evil. Uh, I think I have to... Yep. Yeah, I have to finish the game perfectly if I crash once, okay. pretty much. Okay, sorry. Oh, sorry, Pixel Cat. Hi. Some poor sportsmanship by those other cars, right? They just want you to lose. They do. That's their sole goal in life, is to get in your way because they slow down when you slow down. So they're like, eh. Wasn't a bad crash. Still not. Oh, no, that was terrible. It was, they were totally out of sync, those two yellow cars. They were. Ah. Are you slowing down for that gap, first gap still? Or are you just going a touch, something? just a touch. Just easing off, but. I, I, yeah, I have to get through those cars. I kind of yeah, restart me. I that I, I want to get through that smoothly. Yeah, yeah if they, there's a way to wire and a reset switch nicely into a 2600. Well, if anyone can figure it out, I'm sure you can. Oh, reset. the um, the RGB mod came with a reset switch option mm. but you had to build it into your joystick or have it hanging with this terrible looking button mm. i mean just recreate that oh i hit, hit the edge I'm, I'm I'm thinking ahead. Yeah. Already too far. You are. It's really One annoying. One spot ahead. And I know you do the same thing. I do. On sometimes. there, like, it's oh, like panic. yeah. I didn't think I hit backwards. Actually, that's weird. Uh, I heard it. I know. I must have. You and your uh, joystick controlling. Just not quite lined up. Oh, I just 
just don't line up well there. It's hard because oh, it's didn't, not... I was going to keep going. Oh, that's okay. Sorry. It's all right. Yeah, there's not much time to get from the top down no, to there No, but it's like lining adjust. it up properly is... is um... Oh, mm, I went down again. You make it so far and then you do it again and you're like, I'm thinking oh, no. ahead. I'm like, oh, I have to move down now. It's like, no, you know you don't need to move down yet. Oh, I knew I was too high. Yeah, now I'm just moving too okay, far up. My turn. No. No. It's really annoying. I get bonus time. Cause you're playing. You played so much more <laughs> than I have. <laughs> <laughs> Not stopping at nine because you're playing now. Doesn't matter. You did pretty well. Don't move down. Ugh. Don't move down. Don't when do you it. when you don't get there enough, then yeah. you forget. Or you get past it and then you. Forget you were not supposed to do that. Up. Oh, almost made it. And down, right? Yeah. And then then up again? That? I don't know. It's random. <laughs> How'd you hit that car? I just wasn't lined up properly. I'm looking enough. ahead instead of looking at like the lane I'm in. Oh. I gotta go at the bottom of those two. Yeah? yeah. Is it better? Yep. It's like Meh, pretty... that was terrible. Sure was. My turn. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. Hi Atari. Ah kitty. Ah kitty kitty kitty. Hi. Blinkies. Oh. I go down too far. I'm just not in the lane. Like, I think I'm in that lane. Seriously. Don't reset it yet, please. Oh. But you gave up. You're going slow. And no, I'm cars. trying to make sure I'm lining my car up properly. When you're going really fast, it's like almost impossible. Hmm. One more, and then then you can go. Okay. Then you get eight minutes. Eight minutes. Mm-hmm. That's what you have left. Is it like in uh, European football? Oh. They just add it to the end of this. Okay. Oh, I was right in the middle of it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I was angry. Angry cars. Oh. Are you going to be on the floor? Uh, no, I'm uncomfortable on the floor. So. Are you going to reach over every time? Yes. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> Looks like the stream has been stable for a long time oh, now. That's good. It's weird that it got so low. It's terrible. Like it stopped. It literally just went to nothing. Like something reset almost. Like it got bad, something got reset, and then it was fine again. Of like, ugh, stop, don't stop touching me. Down. So I, I don't know what's past this, and I don't even know what to memorize. Well, it's going to change every time you get past it because you're. We've never done it <laughs> cleanly. <laughs> nope. Right. So. And this is a terrible run. Yeah. Once you get a certain amount into the uh, 
Do I also like because there's no cars anymore? No, no. You just have to dodge as just best you can. Somebody dumped right oil. Right towards the end, yeah. Somebody dumped oil all over the racetrack well, at it's the all, end. It's all the, um, it, all the uh, crushed cars or the cracked <laughs> cars with their cracked oil pans or whatever they have. Yep. Yep, you got to reset this every 15 seconds. <laughs> Is it worth getting up? Yeah. A little bit of exercise? No, I'm just uncomfortable, so. Okay. I'm okay with it. The, the tires are really the amazing part mm, of yeah. this game. Yeah, of how they're animated. Yeah. Yeah, they look amazing. And that was done using two... A duplicate. I forgot what it was doing. That's okay, down. And then up. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Terrible. You want me to reset? Um, probably. It's <laughs> not terrible. <laughs> it's not good. Oh, it's not getting you closer, but. Um, what it's doing is um, du doing a duplicate. Mm of the same play of the same character mm. so the tires are actually perfectly the same um i don't think he changes the i have to see it slowly but um i don't know what's after that i think you have Just to stay, stay down stay down and then for a little bit dodge but, but and then then there's that that is definitely a thing going up um oh though that's good that's not as good as no no fun. but but that whack of four cars there yeah is a thing at the end of the race I'm yeah you sure. have to be I in the upper that. part yeah it's so hard to get through there Nope, reset. Yeah. Yeah, that last one was the final needle thread. Yep, yeah. That's right. I like the trees lining the streets. You know, little bushes or tiny trees. You look at them straight down, so it's hard to tell what they are. Meow! going on i don't know <laughs> so, everything's weird yeah that was the needle thread was it was it i, don't know. I think i yeah. went up too early or something yeah <laughs> that, that's hilarious you did you did i was but, like not paying attention you know, and i i looked away and looked back and I was surprisingly like, well i know i'm i'm getting tired so my brain's beginning to to float away now oh floaties it's a floaty brain it's been floaty all week Ugh. that is not where you want to be yeah you yeah, want to be down the bottom Okay, reset. Well, you went right between those two cars. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Not intentionally. Yeah, I, it's I, like I, you found a path. It wasn't the normal <laughs> path, but it worked. Yeah. Unintentional goodness. <laughs> those two, I think, I went through. Yeah. Oh, it's so hard to... Th I'm too slow. No, I can't. Okay. Kittens, you don't have to run away. He's like, dinner? Food? No, it's hours before your dinner. Yeah. <laughs> Dinner's at 11. It is 9. Mm -hmm. Midnight in some places. Yeah. Go up in a second. Up and down. Stay down. And then you go... Oh. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Too far. Keep going. Keep going. Stay up. Yeah. Best one? 37. So yeah. What was it? 37? One eight. And two more seconds. 
much. It wasn't that much of an improvement. You get two more games. It's like it's like watching the votes come in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And Oops. we're adding 6,000... Oh, yeah, we're not supposed to talk about politics, are we? No. Oh. Yeah. Oh, what? Metal learner. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. It's hard to believe we had an election in BC. <laughs> and uh, it was called, voted on, finished in like 12 hours. <laughs> yeah, we knew everything in 12 hours. Okay, then same night. No, it was the, it was the same night. We knew the same night, yeah. That's well, a that, not even thing. 12 hours then, it was like four. Well, four from, from probably the opening of voting 12 hours well, later. Opening um, of voting. But, like, you have to count from when they close. Yeah, but it closes across the country. So they start counting in one it part of the country. federal. No, we're talking about the oh, local. Oh, no, sorry. One. Yeah, no, no, you're right. It, no, it, it, took, it took, like, no time. It crashed. But, uh, oh. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, it's different. Never mind. Or maybe. Leave it. Oh, it's all crazy. What's happening? Where's the oil slicks? You're not the end yet. Okay. You're at the end now. Yeah, but I'm way past the time. Or was I? No. You were fine. Okay. I left off I let off the gas. Silly. I was. But um Our elections are so fast. Well and results so fast. They don't do advanced do they do advanced voting? They did advanced voting in the States, do they? Oh yeah, yeah. Some places, yeah. Some places do advanced voting. Okay, that's enough. No we're talking about it. Oh we're talking about elections, not politics. Okay. It's just interesting. You want me to restart? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, they did. They did. But they, they did do early voting. Lots of it. They have like two early weeks. lineups. They have they two weeks er of early voting now because it's so popular. Yeah, people love it that... because it's good. Yeah. We, did, we did it here and it's awesome. Yeah. It, we almost always vote early. Yeah. Because it gets it. You get lots of choices of when to go in. It's so. Good. And then there's no lineups. What so. Am I doing. I don't. Yeah. I wish. Um, it sounds like more places need to be doing that. Anyway. Yeah, the tires are lined up. You can see the graphics. Yep. So they just do a straight duplication of the same player. Yeah. And then they stop. They turn off the duplication mm. past a certain point on the tire. Oh. Right? And then the next part down, up. the body of the car, is... It's just big, 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 chunky graphics. Is what it is. <sighs> Forgot. <laughs> okay, reset. So it's like one, two, and then a space. Like those are pixels. Four wide, four wide, then one space, then four, four, four. Turned on qu quad. It was a bad crash. Bad crash. <laughs> I love early voting. Done that last yeah. election. Yeah. It's so much because better. They, here, I don't know. They gave and us like just, five different times, five different days to do it. They they, they were there was Four early voting for like two weeks this year, which which it's even more, and I think more and more people do it, and they they start planning for more and more sites, and yes, they do it earlier and earlier because um, and this year we didn't vote early. We because we didn't. It just wasn't. We couldn't. We couldn't. Like there was no. We're away by. or something. Yeah. Did you hit it? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Um. And we didn't even wait in line at the polls. I think so many people vote early now that... It that, was desolate. Yeah. Just nobody there on voting day. No, because everybody, there was no one there. Everybody was done. Every, yeah. So I think that's always a really good plan. It makes a lot of sense. Hi, Rena Foot. Hope you enjoyed Back. your dinner. <laughs> Oh, we went for dinner? Mm-hmm. Actually, those sped me up. <laughs> That's funny. 37, 20. Is that better? No, just a little bit worse. Again. <laughs> okay. Oh, we're not talking about politics. We're, ta <laughs> we're talking about voting. Yeah, just voting. <laughs> Method methods of voting. Yeah. Don't talk about politics, <laughs> Rena Foot. Not allowed. 
my goodness. Did that at full speed. Damn it! <laughs> you talk about... Uh, no cat! Cat interference of video game playing. It's a lot of cat interference. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. Hi. Recall the cats. Recall the cats. <laughs> Sorry, I can't hit the reset. You gonna hit the reset, Ken? Go hit the reset. Go hit the reset. Not politics, just generally. No oil and gas. gas. Yeah, that too. That seems doubtful. <laughs> <laughs> well, however much you pay, I promise you we pay a lot more. 100%, 100%. Especially in Vancouver. <laughs> Vancouver's ridiculous. One of the worst prices of gas. Gas in, in anywhere. In North America, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it is. Consistent. Except maybe up north. I don't know. Yeah, because it's harder to get it up there. Yeah. Oh, hi. Oh, oh, he's so happy. Oh. Out of the way, chair. It's 9.04. Only 9.04. You said you'd give me eight extra minutes. I did. Then I have four and more minutes. And that was at 8.52. No, because I said I'd stop at nine. Oh. And then you said, oh, you get eight extra That's minutes. That's not what I said. <laughs> eight minutes from when you said that? Yes. Well, that's not eight extra minutes. I that's said just... you get you have eight more minutes. I didn't say you have eight extra minutes. Yeah. Oh. It's a nice, nice, nice theory you have, running. <laughs> oh. it's a theory I'm going with. <laughs> I have Look at this guy. Three more minutes. Look at this guy right which here. Which is six games. It's a cute cat. Oh, it's got a big there fluffy. Long. He's not relaxed though. He's, he's loafing. Relaxed. He's loafing. He's he's chilling. Oh, I forgot what I was doing. You're gonna I didn't keep going? slow down. Uh, Let's see what the yellow cars bit, are. A little bit, but not a lot. Oh! The yellow cars are misbehaving. Nope, that's not proper. <sighs> I have a chance at this game. I'm I'm you're, optimistic you're, you're... about. Yeah. The next time I play it. <sighs> yeah. Optimistic. Let it settle Cautiously in. Cautiously optimistic. Take it fresh and you might do quite well. And watch some videos on it. Videos? <laughs> yeah. What did people do before videos? They went to video game competitions and watched other people play, I guess. Yep, they just uh, watched friends play. And... Oh, see, it's so easy to go down too far there. And you don't even need to go down too far. No. Because... There's something coming up, and I can't remember when it is. There. there. Is. Another one. And another, another one. one. No, passed. Okay. Where am I? No, yeah, done. Okay. Another one. Reset. Reset. Reset, please. You're done resetting? <laughs> Where's our pillow I'm tired. cord? Oh, please. Arr. I'm tired. Mr. Foot? <laughs> Mr. Foot. <laughs> Arena Foot to you. <laughs> <laughs> Slightly slowing down there doesn't change the pattern, mm. right? I think we've kind of established that. Because you get those two yellow cars the same. Uh, I go too early because I'm scared. One more minute. You need to play on a widescreen TV so you can better see the obstacles coming up. Stretch it all out? Yeah. Well, we're technically playing on a widescreen TV. <laughs> so, yeah. It just is not stretched on the widescreen TV. Oof. So, kind of not. Mm. Oh! It comes up fast. It's waiting for that other car to get out of the way. Yeah. Yeah, hit too many things. Hit too many things. This is Constant the rage last quitting. go. Oh, so oh, many rage yeah. quitting. Over and over. Andrew, help me. <laughs> this game is one of the hardest. <laughs> oh, ah. I just feel like that's impossible, that wall. It's not. That, that, it just that feels impossible. That is easier impossible. than the blue cards. I don't think so. It's so much easier. It is. There's more space. He's 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 funny. He's lying. He's don't oh, you, he's you pay attention now. to your game. He's oh, lying down. He looks like he's relaxing, but his eyes are wide open. Oh, I see. 
He's like he's totally relaxed. paying attention to what you're doing right now. He's in relaxed pose. Yeah. He's being deceptive. He's being very deceptive. He's just he's Can he's, people see him? Yeah. 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 You can see him in the corner of the screen. I forget that one all the time. Mm -hmm. I think if you go to a full stop, it's you're not gonna make it. Just those glancing blows are like, oh yeah, you might be able to get get the 35 seconds. It's getting through that too. Yeah, actually made it to it that time. Sometimes I don't even see that blockade wall of cars. Mm. <sighs> How many more do you want to do? <laughs> I don't know. I want to keep doing it over and over. Two more. Last one, I swear. Last one. Last one. This joystick is, keeps coming off. Mm-hmm. Terrible. Three, four, five, no patch. There's the wall. And the oil. And terrible. Mm. Famous last words. Nope, I'm putting it down. <laughs> putting it down. At some point, you gotta put it down. 37, one, nine, something? One eight, I think. One eight? Yeah. That's oh, not bad. That's it's not bad. It's, it's, within, it's, it's within, you know, hitting distance, I think. It is, yeah. I think you just have to practice the first part and get that a little smoother then yep. even if you get held up on the second part of it you'll, you're okay but i think i i will slow down that's what i've been doing this wall. past little bit yeah is slowing down before that first thing yeah because that's the hardest part yeah yeah um, it does help you get through it yeah yeah and the rest of it i i think i can just do full speed mm. and memorize it mm. but that's for next time next time <laughs> <laughs> Um, it's a good game. So it's a lot of fun to play. It is actually. I thought it wouldn't be as much fun because it's very samey, samey over yeah. again. But it's it's. But it's still it's still fun. It's I think, fun to play because it's very, it's very nice looking. Yeah. And it's got the red. It's yeah. very satisfying when you crash. Yeah. You don't want to crash. Um, so we played uh, six games today. Mm -hmm. Blip skip ball. Very fun, mm -hmm. very good recreation of the handheld type game. The Mattel game. Mattel yeah. uh, LED game. Yep. Yeah. Um, highly recommended if you like uh, basketball games or those old, old school LED games. Uh, we played Retro Racing. Very simplistic racing game. It needs something else to it. Yeah, it but it was it was good. It was, it was good, but it was very simple. Yeah. Not a lot of colors, all gray and white and black. I think too. it would have been better if it didn't switch tracks in the middle. Yeah. And it was had two players. Yeah, that would be fun. Which is completely doable because yeah. it only used one player character. Yeah, you could have a second person on the same course too. And had a finish line. And had laps or I don't know what it could yeah. have. It could yeah. be improved quite a bit. Mm-hmm. Um Digits, surprisingly fun. I like that. That was fun. It's a really good puzzle game. Yeah, nice That's going to go on game. my puzzle, favorite puzzle game yes. list, I yeah. think. Yeah, I think that's up there for sure. Um, I, really good game. Yeah, I liked, I liked the concept of it too, because yeah. um, simple in its design, but like... One button. Kind of fra frantic. Like yeah. you're running around and you're trying trying not to be in sync with this eye that's going to kill you and yeah. s and see you. and yeah. I might go it. on my one button. Best of one button game yeah, list. Yeah, one button game Because there's not many of them. No, that's true. That's very, very true. Very short list. Yeah. Uh, binary game. I'd say it's less of a game than a learning tool. <laughs> yeah. It's how to teach people assembly 
mathematics. Yeah. <laughs> mathematics and assembly in, code. In binary, yeah. In binary. Yeah. Uh, yeah it's not I, even I, hex, I would be it's more. Binary. I would be more up for it, but to, today, this week, I'm not into learning a new no. system of mathematics. My so brain is broken. My a bit. brain is a bit broken a bit, yeah. so... Yeah. Uh, Grand Prix. Great it's game. Great, yeah. amazing Fun. game. Oh, I should have got out the actual cartridge next time. Mm -hmm. um, oh, you're just going to disturb him. Oh, I'm just waking him up so he, he there's a little bit of movement on the screen. Oh. Look at this little guy. He stayed with us this whole time. Oh, so cute. He's been very, very sweet. Um, yeah. Grand Prix, very hard to get the patch. Yes. That's a challenging game. Yeah, no. I don't think it's outside the realm of possibility. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, I think we were I playing for a little bit, and I got 39 seconds relatively quickly, so... I don't think I'm going to get the world record next time I play it. No. Like, in that under, like, that mm. special... What is it, 29? Yeah, it's crazy. I'm not going to get under 30. I'm not oh. even going to get 31 or 32. No, but I think you can get under 35. Yeah, I think I can get the patch. I think that. I think that's doable. Next time. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um. Yeah, you should play Grand Prix. If you don't have it, you should get it. Mm. Good good Activision game. It's mm. not like one of those... It's not like Hero or something. Where... Um, even Hero. Like, a lot of the old school games didn't have randomization. Mm. They were very... You do this. Yeah. Um, some of the later ones had, like, adventures. and Like, adventure. Like, that changes a bit each time. Yeah. You know, where things are and mm. how to play it. Um... Pitfall is a good one, even though it has the same thing each time. It's yeah. a bit of a challenge because each screen is a bit different. It's a little different, yeah. Yeah. There's a, for, a lot of variety in it. Variety, yeah. yeah. Um, so, uh, we're not here on Tuesday. Uh, Tuesdays are done for the rest of the year. Uh, but 2020. Be, for 2020. Yeah. There will be special shows that will be announced soon-ish. Mm. Don't know when. It's going to be random whenever they're ready. Mm -hmm. um, so, those will be on... Weird days. It might be Sundays. It might be a Wednesday. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. It might be Saturday. We'll have to see. Mm -hmm. um, probably the weekend. Um, the special shows. Most likely. Most likely, yeah. Very good chance they're going to be on the weekend. Mm -hmm. um, but for now on, it's just Fridays. Mm -hmm. Till the end of the year. Because I have the Atari Awards that I've been kind of neglecting. You a need little to bit. get on top of that. Yeah. really need to get on it. Um, still have a lot of time. But I, I just need to catch up a little bit. Mm-hmm on uh, getting the nomination committees straight. I think pretty much the 2600 is nomination committees like that close to being done. Mm -hmm. 7800 is pretty good. 8-bit is like, I need to really get on that mm -hmm. immediately and catch up on all the games that have been released because I'm really not in the 8-bit realm yeah. and I kind of have to rely on other people so I have to get them organized. Um, and then there's Developer Spotlight on the 27th on John Champo, so i got to get that ready too. That's nice. going to be a lot of fun. Very extensive. Mm. Very big. Lots of games he's made. Excellent. Like pre-Atari games too. Um, and we're going to have a homebrew, a holiday homebrew special. Nice. Sometime in probably the 18th. Yeah. Most likely that'll be the last show of the year. Right before Christmas. Yeah, because... Yeah, because it gets kind of hectic around that last week. Yes, it does, yeah. So I might just assign it to that. Yeah. Um, that being the holiday homebrew special. Mm. And then that'll be the last show of the year-ish, maybe. We'll see. Yeah. Don't know. Um, and then we'll be back next year and doing the homebrew awards for the first... Uh, first part of first January? month. Nice. January is going to be playing all the all the games, all the games, nice, and some other things in between nice. there. Yeah, nice. that'll be a lot of fun. So it'll be a best of 2020, nice. pretty much, as chosen by the nomination committee. Um, so that's what's coming up, and so thanks for tuning in. Mm -hmm. um, we had a little bit of streaming issues. Yeah, for yeah. those watching live oh. earlier. Oh. Bye. Oh, is that food? Follow me to the food! <laughs> um, but it resolved itself after like 15 minutes, mm. which is 15 minutes too long. Yes. Yeah, I don't know what that uh, was all about. Yeah, that was crazy. Annoying. Mm -hmm. So thanks for tuning in. Mick Muse, Dan AVC, Arena Foot. Yeah, for like 15 minutes, it dropped, like really it cut off to zero. Yeah, yeah. 
Andrew Davey, uh, Miss Command, yep. uh, Metal Lunar 7, it's Kev73, Yars Revenge fan, mm -hmm. who wanted to know what the uptime was. <laughs> uh, Flackets, Crossbow 777. Shoki. Shoki, Shoki 1968. Um, Alma Fur, Andrew Davey. Pack Rat VG, mm. right said Andrew Davey. Mm. Um, Cap Captain Classic. Yeah. Oh, that's the end of the list. Wow. So please refer to me <laughs> as. <laughs> 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 um, that's probably sounds like the noise when you dial up a BBS. Oh. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Audition good, video art. Artifacty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Audition good. Audio, audio. Audio, audio. <laughs> audio and good. <laughs> video art artifacty. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of good that it um, keeps the audio as yeah. the baseline. Yeah. And adds the video on top of it. It's it's actually very, very good. Mm -hmm. You always want audio. The audio is cutting out, people are gone. They won't stand for it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think that's it. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we'll be here next Friday with Darcy? Doesn't make any sense. Yeah, he wasn't here. This is Friday. He was here last Friday. Oh. He's here next Friday. Is it? Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then there's one more in between, and then the developer spot. Yes, yeah. It's very early November. Yeah. So I'm thinking it's like a little bit later. A little later than it actually is. Yeah. 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 So thanks, everybody, for tuning in. And mm -hmm. we'll see you next Friday, if not before, maybe. Never yeah. know. Might just jump on and play some game for two hours. Yeah. Trying no, to get someone Grand Prix. Releases, someone releases something, too. You never know. Yeah, I could do just do one video game. Yeah. <laughs> Atari VCS. That's no, <laughs> no, I will not be buying the Atari VCS. <laughs> If somebody gives it to me for free, that's different. That's fine, but yeah. I'm not spending a dollar on that. I have no <laughs> use for it. None <laughs> whatsoever. Okay. All right. Have a good night, everyone. Bye -bye. Have a good weekend. Have a good weekend. Bye. See you next week. <laughs>